There's a lot of beef on this side. Well, I don't know what you want to do. <laughs> Welcome she to the... To <laughs> Let's go to the gym. <laughs> I am too exhausted for the gym. Hi, everybody. Welcome I'm very soft spoken today. Cause we're never I, exhausted for gyms, though. Oh, you mean got what's a what's a gym? The gyms. He, he doesn't gyms. know what gyms. He's from California. Oh, yeah, you know, does he not know what gyms is? I made him go there. Wait, oh. no, gyms the breakfast place, the diner. Yeah, I thought you meant the gym. No, the gym is different from oh. gyms. Although when I when I worked for Target and used to tell people to go to the gyms at like two in the morning, they're like, "Why are you working out at two in the morning?" <laughs> not realizing I was talking about eating chicken tenders with a drunk, <laughs> drunk Jeff. Gyms is really good. There was one by my old apartment, which is oh, now my old it. apartment. I moved out. The issue Hooray. is they're no longer open twenty four seven. Yeah, that yeah. pick pissed me off one so time. So I just don't go anymore. <laughs> yeah, because I was like, well, who, yeah, who wants to overpay for breakfast well, anymore? Yeah. Well, that's like the lasting wound from COVID. What did what w- fully went back to twenty four seven? Not like, a lot of things. Not yeah, a lot. not a lot of things. Kirby we still got a lot of burger though. Really hurt. <laughs> yeah, dude, I gotta, I gotta tell you, 24 hour Walmarts, like as much as I don't like Walmart and their anti union practices, walking around and just seeing the refuse of humanity at three in the morning with me, like also being the refuse of humanity is fucking awesome. Cause you got all those like lights, those fluorescent those, lights. Those pre made deli su- subs. I just, different. I don't know a single Walmart that's open at 24 hours anymore. You know, yeah, no, they don't. They're not. Makers. I remember the first time I went to a Walmart before when COVID first started closing them, and the worker was like, "What the fuck's wrong with you? Get the hell out of here!" <laughs> I was he like, "Broke it." Because I was just like, "I just wanted to get a Coke, man. What the fuck?" <laughs> also, goddamn top monster, the squirrel. Yeah, you goddamn right. I don't know if he was there in my old apartment, but. Oh, yeah, that's a squirrel thing. He's, he's finding a way here. It has yeah, died. yeah. It's like the slug where it's like if the slug touches you, you die. Was that's... there any moles with that squirrel at any point? No, there was no moles yeah. with that squirrel. Goliath sent me a TikTok with that squirrel. It holds a knife and it listens to Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> I could glass at you that and not me. <laughs> like, look at Sam's lore. And so, <laughs> oh, oh got a hype Christina crane got a hype crane. Uh, hype crane. God, I am sicker <laughs> than I thought. Hype crane. <laughs> anyway, the hype you said snail. you had a topic to start the show in an interesting way. Sweep the leg, Johnny. <laughs> oh, so <laughs> as you know, me and JJ are big wrestling fans. Mm-hmm. And once in a while, a meme just takes off. In the most delightful way, because that doesn't always happen in wrestling. So if you look, if you go to, I'm still going to call it Twitter. I refuse to change it to X. It's fine. Um, its official name is X, formerly known as Twitter. No, but it's still <laughs> Twitter.com. Yeah, but, but then every time you look up X and videos, you're not going to end up on Twitter. No, <laughs> no it's still That's Twitter.com. Yeah, it's and still that's Twitter. What everyone, like, well, it's X. No, it's Twitter.com. If it was X.com, great. We'll call it X. But it's Twitter.com. So f- shut the fuck up, Elon, you dumb bastard. I'm going to have weird, quiet, and big spurts of energy. I am way off today. I'm very excited. But you're saying wrestling? Sam, I, Look. I don't like your energy here today. Oh, no, it's okay. <laughs> no, it's not, it's not malevolent. Oh, it, that well, was an Elon impression. Uh, oh. oh. <laughs> you gotta let I don't the, know if you, you can let the sink in or whatever the fuck that joke was. Oh, it's just very joke? soft-spoken. Oh, go. <laughs> fuck yourself. Approval? No. Go fuck yourself. Ah, I'm the greatest. Fuck you, Elon, you stupid Uh-oh. bastard. Have you seen that picture of him at the Soft Paula? ground wrestling. Soft ground wrestling. Yes, unhinged Sammy wrestling. time. Mark it. Uh, yeah, uh, so soft goods wrestling. Ground soft ground wrestling. wrestling. Now, really this was just what... It, this took off in Uganda. Oh, oh, I know what you're talking about. I know exactly <laughs> what you're talking about now. You, you and your search for real kumites. I already see the clip. I think you just look at that right there. You and your goddamn search for well, I'm going- battle royales and... And, and 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 bare bones. But tell combat. me, look look at this. We didn't look seek at this out. It, it I found this out on my on yeah on Twitter just <laughs> naturally, but mostly because of the the heel yeah, of it is yeah. the best part. Well, let's let's take so a this, look. This was started by um, a whole bunch of Ugandans. That, apparently, some of them are even orphans. So like they oh legit do this to raise money for the community. Oh, that's cool. And it's one of the this cool- is literally king lore from Texas. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. He gives it to the orphans. Well, they're the orphans, well, they, but still. Well, well, they give it to themselves. Oh, shit. He's going for it. I was like, is there a top turn? Bo- oh, God. They're, he's making one. The top row. Oh, my God. Hey, it's Bamboo's very strong. Is he going to do a backflip? No fucking way. High risk, high reward. Oh, fuck, splash. Oh, <laughs> 
That's Is that a Cartman ha- fucking a beanie? <laughs> it's a Cartman beanie the ref's wearing. That's not official. They probably got it from the Super Bowl. I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, maybe. I don't know. I was like, what countries get them? Usually Soft ground Africa, wrestling? Though. Uganda. So I, I heard about it because... <laughs> That's still... I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that, was it that one album cover with the guy's fucking flipping? I forget. Oh, there's That's the, the heel. Yeah, there's the heel. Oh, my God. Well, it's only seven seconds. Is that enough? Yeah, the, it should be fine. Yeah. He's ba- <laughs> okay. He's a- and you don't even have your own ring. He, he's called so, the colonizer. It's and, a British guy. Yeah, <laughs> he's a British guy called the colonizer. It's amazing. God, is, it's one of the greatest things I've ever heard is, for a heel ever, and it's amazing. Is all wrestling hack like this all I mean, the time? Uh-oh. Not always, but it's definitely very tongue in cheek sometimes. Is his name like Lord Smash or something like yeah. that? Hold on. Nyoko. Yeah! <laughs> There's cuts to the promos, like edits. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so- <laughs> <laughs> he damn near broke him in half. <laughs> God damn, I love the world. <laughs> I love the world. <laughs> so, I love the world, man. Stop the shit out of him. <laughs> the internet is the best thing that's ever happened in the world. God, we are creatures of simple pleasures, man. Hey, man. A couple guys to... beating up a white guy in a jersey. Some <laughs> some some rope. You old <laughs> people should love us. This is the origin of theater. <laughs> I don't know. That that's how that works. <laughs> probably. Yeah. Probably is that Kabuki theater? Probably. I don't know, man. That's how that works. The big guy, Jor- ancient Jordan, being theater. like that dude's just wearing an Amazon vest. <laughs> It kind of is, yeah. Oh, well, look at Soft Ground Wrestling Uganda is available. It's, it was it WWE 2K24? <laughs> somebody, somebody recreated the <laughs> goddamn arena. That's incredible. I love democracy. <laughs> well, uh, I don't know how much money it will be in Uganda, I mean, whatever the Ugandan currency is, but uh, when Will Ospreay saw this, he gave them $10,000. He was like, this is very cool. Jesus oh, that's Christ. Real nice of Hold on, I got to do it. I was gonna say Uganda bucks. That's not their currency. <laughs> Uganda Uganda knuckles. See conversion. Let's Dude, I don't even know what they, they have. Uh, <laughs> they have shillings. All right. So. Oh, sweet. I love that. That's amazing. I love <laughs> that. Yeah. Okay. Have any shillings? Just keeps getting better and better the more we learn. About it. <laughs> you said. Do t- they have merch? <laughs> <laughs> so you said ten thousand. Yeah. So that is, hold on, one, two, three, three million eight hundred and eighty thousand two hundred ninety four shillings. Ugandan shillings. And they I don't definitely know, buying a ring now. That's what I'm saying. You, yeah. <laughs> Ten thousand, you can buy a ring here. Regular. Roman yeah. Productions. <laughs> Dang. Are they Ugandan? Yeah, they are Ugandan. That's right. Oh, so Roman are. Film is going to have the wrestler, but Ugandan wrestler called Soft I'd watch Wrestling. That. Soft Ground mm. Wrestling. They still got Mickey Rourke somehow, though. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is insane right here. And look, just everybody everybody is involved. Some of them are orphans. I'm using wrestling to change. Oh, this is the official page. Yeah. Let's take, let's take a look at the official page real quick. Backyard wrestling promotion in Uganda, East Africa that develops talent of young athletes all over East Africa. Yep. Look at that right there. Ten do- oh, ten dollars towards rehabilitation and purchase of costumes for soft ground facility. Oh, so you could just send direct money to them if you want. So if I, you want to support oh. the endeavor of wrestling, they need to do Uganda. what Americans do and make merch because I will buy that <laughs> tomorrow. Yeah, oh. <laughs> right? Oh man! And if somehow they make merch out of like super failed Super Bowl champions that they got sent back, <laughs> they got the shirt. <laughs> Oh, man. They just spray, like, UWO on it. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, no, it'd be SGW, right? Or SGWU? SGW, I think is how it goes. Yeah, SGW, soft ground wrestling. Nah, I want them to have a, a NWO of Uganda faction. Dang. <laughs> soft ground wrestling. That's actually a great name, to be honest. Mostly because it's just mud, but at the same time, like... They're, they're, it's catchy. It's catchy. Yeah. It's true. And there is a... Twitter is just a cesspool now. You thought, ooh, uh, he's really soft ground is. wrestling. You said that when we're looking at a seal in a cowboy hat. <laughs> no, it, <laughs> but, unrelated. It, but it's, it's unrelated. unrelated. <laughs> Look at this filth. This, Horrible. This cowpoke right here. Oh, speaking of. of Still better than the end of the <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh speaking my God. of cowpoke, I've been here for eight years, guys. Can you believe that? 
Have, yeah. have you really? Yeah, yeah, for eight that's years. True. I just got the Facebook notifications that are like, on my way, hired. And then. Yeah. Oh, did yeah. you get the one where it's like, I'm at Marcus's house? Because <laughs> when I, got, I first moved here, I crashed on his couch when his baby was like an infant. And now she's like a grown adult now. Like she's like doing math and playing video games and stuff, which is what adults piece. do. Huh? No. She watches One Piece. JJ got her into One Piece. Oh, well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Another soul corrupted. Yeah. So like this newborn baby eventually. is crying <laughs> and now she's into One Piece. And so it's like that, that's how long I've known Marcos and uh, longer than that. Ten years, I think this year. Was it the when first was anniversary the, or the second? It was second? the first anniversary. Was it 15? Uh, no, I think it was, it was 14 then. 14. So, it was the first th- anniversary? Yeah. 14 or 15? It's 14. 14 was the first anniversary because that's the first time I went to Austin. And that was when I went to RTX and also did the Double Toasted first anniversary party. It was because that was when I ran into you again on accident. Right. Yeah. Because yeah. we were talking about something. And that's how we found out, you know, we, I knew our <laughs> And that's how that started. Yeah. yeah. And I remember and that. And then I was launching the Mexilence at the time in its first iteration. And uh, yeah, I threw a barbecue. I somehow raised money selling t shirts, made a barbecue where he showed up. I bet you have a picture of that somewhere. But probably. Um, it's funny that. No, I'm, no, I'm not going to make. I'm going to tell this story. Which, which one? <laughs> I'll tell it while the, the things are loading. Oh, okay. It's gotcha. between me and you. Oh, it's, it's, a, it's a wee story. Well, yeah. here's the thing, folks. If they I buried start... that dead hooker somewhere, is all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> she was not a hooker. She was a massage therapist. <laughs> all right. When they're dead, when they're, they're dead, hookers, they're Cyril. Hookers. <laughs> <You> got... <laughs> <I'm> a... <laughs> You're a hooker. I've trained success. That's also a running gag with an old friend oh, of mine. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Time out, time out, time out. Happy birthday, Bad G. Bad G is your birthday. We hung out with Bad G. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. <laughs> it's your birthday. Bad G's birthday. And uh, we had a good time. We actually hung out and uh, we watched some titty anime and uh, whatever. I don't know that what That could it was. be anything. Golden Boy. Golden Boy. Golden, oh, Golden Boy is the best. God <laughs> damn. Golden Boy is awesome. That thing is hysterical. Titty anime. When, when, he, watched, when he beats that lady at we, that race with, on the on oh, his we, bicycle. We watched the first <laughs> episode. Oh, didn't get, yeah, that part's amazing. If you guys have never watched Golden Boy, watch Golden Boy. Don't watch Golden Boy. <laughs> it's fucking hysterical. We, we actually watched it at the end of the night. That was like. Oh, really? Well, well, we watched Road house i watched it years on ago. mute essentially and we just commented mystery science theater 3000 style over the new roadhouse which was pretty fucking insane it's it's an easy watch i'll just put it like that <laughs> it's an easy watch you with don't need group. a group i heard group. mixed things about it you, you know? don't have to pay attention and conor mcgregor is going crazy and apparently in interviews i need, I need he's uh, relapsing on drugs so <laughs> i was about to say i need more conor mcgregor like. i don't believe he was acting i believe that he walked onto the set and they were just like film it <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> All right, here's your scene. You're going to walk in. Where the fuck is everyone? The fuck? Fuck this. The fact that that's a meme means this movie is kind of successful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that's true. Some, they're going to remember the movie at some somehow. And, and so we have that going on. And so check this out. You guys are making plans behind my back because, first of all, first of all, actually, two steps back, then making plans behind my back. Then next weekend or two weekends from now, I'm fucked. Like I said, I'm done. Um, Bat G, unfortunately, lost a very close friend. And so everybody's saying your condolences, condolences to Bat G. A buddy of his passed away like a couple days ago. And not a good time. And not a good time to happen right before your birthday, especially when you care about the guy. So uh, everybody send your love. Regards to Bat G. Bat G, send my heart for you. My love for you, brother. Take care of yourself. Have a good birthday. Enjoy this trip around the sun. Appreciate your support and everybody out there's support. Then moving on now to the, you guys didn't tell me, I was like, Christina, when are you coming? And she just gave me the exact time and hour in her flight schedule. It was really weird. And um, <laughs> yeah. she, she, can, she can argue that in the chat. She's lying. And um, she was like, we're going to the Renaissance Fair. And I'm like, how come nobody fucking told me? Is that the plan now? I, I have not heard about it. Wait, who are you making plans with? <laughs> Is, are, you, are you going to the Renaissance Fair? I guess so. Okay. Well, I think because she had a lot of maybe ideas. Oh. I do know that she wants to do stuff and when she's coming. But all I drop do, I, I, there's no concrete plans. As far as I know, I just remind people in the chat once a week that it's like, hey, bro, in two weeks. Because I told you when, when Tina was coming oh, two weeks ago uh-huh. and the math didn't work out. But it was like. Oh, yeah, that'll be when my sister's here, which is obviously not true right. because your sister is it's here this, this weekend. <laughs> which, which, next episode, we're going to have a very special guest. It's not my sister, though. Uh, but anyway, so it's not this weekend, but it's next weekend. Yeah, it's and not Easter now, Sunday. And now she's saying JJ didn't tell anybody, so now she's blaming you. 
I don't tell anybody anything. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, JJ was trying to abscond with you to the Renaissance Fair, but now Badgie's invited, and now I'm going, and now Marcus is going, and so now we're going to go, and you can invite it too as well if you want to come. No, sure. We I are guess. going to Scallywag. I've never been to a Renaissance Fair. Oh, really? Nope. It's a fun time. You eat turkey legs, and they're okay, and they're a little overpriced, uh, and then you buy, what was it? You, you can actually use your Viking horn for a second time, I'm sure. The only thing that sucks is you got to wait for like an hour on the road. Yeah, like sense, yeah, you gotta get there unless you want to get there early, early, which we're not the early, early crew. Well, that was one of the main reasons I never went because of, of how far it was. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. also I didn't know anybody who would go. <laughs> well, we were those. <laughs> which is weird because it turns out also I knew a lot of people cup. the whole time. I've used the pewter cup like four times. Though. The pewter cup? A pewter cup. It's like a metal cup yeah. that's made of pewter. It's a cup. It's a pewter you cup. Have a pewter cup. I have a pewter cup. I used to have one, but I don't know what happened to it. Mm, I bought it at Goodwill. That's no, I bought it at Goodwill, and then I don't. I I left with my parents, and then it just disappeared one day. I don't know what happened to it. Yes, and no, your wife doesn't need to make fried chicken again. That was some bomb ass fried chicken. It was Bad, pretty good. Bad G's wife made us fried chicken. Oh, really? Yeah, it, it was like she was like, yeah, you 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 just soak it overnight and you put MSG in it and you fry it up and the biscuits. Those biscuits were fucking delicious. Were dope. The greens were dope. The greens were dope too. Yes. And then the and then the <laughs> the one thing we're all leaving out as last place was the cauliflower mashed potatoes. Oh, it's not because they're bad. It's just the other thing was just like a tier. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Well, the cauliflower is a farce. Um, that's true. As a substitute. Cauliflower in its own Actually, right. Like fine. the texture. Once in a while, I like eating really? things just because it's different. Really? And that's that's what those. I'm the opposite. Yeah, those texture. mashed potatoes. Were kind of, <laughs> like, not to be disrespectful. I hope it's not, but it's like they kind of had like a grit texture right. to it. Yeah, yeah, that's because cauliflower has yeah. a grit to it. Oh, okay. And I was like, oh, this is neat. Yeah, okay, well, and I was sense. like, yeah. you you sit on a throne of lies. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were the mashed potatoes. No, and so you know, J- JJ trying to watch his macros. You know, when is this Renaissance thing? Uh, not this Saturday. Next Saturday. Saturday after. Okay, it's every weekend. Technically. Yeah, yeah, but I'm just mean when you guys will be there is what I mean. Yeah, you could go. Uh, siege the fort whenever you want, but JJ, how dare someone stand as potatoes in its in its throne? I know you love potatoes, so I'm just making sure that. It's you a shame it'll offended. be probably a little warmer by that point because I have a green arrow jacket. I totally could have worn. <laughs> hey, no lore. It is kind of modern, modern accurate there, though. Yeah, uh, there is, yeah, it's gonna be a fun time. Point is though, uh, let, let's let's do the show. So that way. Um, I don't pass out in the middle of this because I got TJ got everybody sick. That's what Marcus's theory is, and I'm gonna stick. I'm gonna I'm gonna second that. Um, but no you coronavirus. Say TJ got everybody sick. Or TJ, TJ got everybody. Sick? TJ got hit with like something okay. nasty, nasty, and we've all got. Uh, Was it from that mob boss that kidnapped him in the <laughs> Yeah, he he brought the Florida juices over here. God damn it, TJ! You can't bring Florida diseases to Texas because they'll just invade everybody, and all of our noses and eyes will hurt, and it's not a fun time. <laughs> Oh, also, she's going to hate I'm um, doing this also, and you guys are going to hate them doing this because it's also sappy and, and, and a little lame. Uh, my girlfriend's having a rough day. Babe, you're doing great. Appreciate you. Is Love she you. watching? Why, yeah, she why probably would I hate that? Oh, no, because it's, it's just over sentimental and weird and, and, and out of place. I usually Speaking try of which, how was the Disney trip? Oh, you will watch the show last episode, but long story short, fancy as shit. They offered a stool for my girl's backpack so it oh, didn't touch the ground. That's oh. crazy as shit. I misheard that. I heard they offered a stool. What? Why? <laughs> why are they serving you it's, crap? It's a, it's a part of the ritual that you have to enter club. That you eat a piece of dookie. It's a piece of Disney's dookie. Yeah, right. it's a shard. It's a shard of dookie. You're also shown Disney's uh, frozen head on the way in. No, the, 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 it was in the bathroom because you couldn't take pictures of the bathroom interior. It's because they had his frozen it, head. It was in the bathroom. Oh, okay. I would piss on it. <laughs> you can't piss that high. It was really high. It was the top. Oh shelf. man. The crap <laughs> Anyone can piss on the floor. It takes a hero to piss on the ceiling. <laughs> but anyway, babe, I hope you're doing great, and I hope the kitty's doing all right. Her cat is starting to like sorry randomly. Sorry for shitting on Disney. Oh, I thought you were saying sorry for shitting on the cat. Well, he, he said he was going to pee on him, not shit on him. That's completely different. Yeah, come on, JJ, be cooth. Be cooth. The a Disney. Bit. If Walt Disney woke up today and found out. Just everything that's going on with Disney today, he would probably take a piss on himself. He probably would just end himself right there. <laughs> He'd be like, what's going on in Palestine? And then just... <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to the CK, CK Countdown, everybody, talking monsters, who you, 
Oh, I don't know why I'm going free. I heard this show had kaiju. This show <laughs> may or may you say not. say that out have. loud three times, Matt Frank appears. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I've ever met him, really. I love Matt. He's Matt's a local life. Godzilla aficionado slash artist or whatever. Point you, is, you, that's not the point of who we are. I was about to yeah. say, you, you definitely met him at the Halloween party. I met him. But not... Matt's who the fuck favorite. is Matt? Matt's one of anyway, my favorite people. So. No, you know who's not Matt? Me. I'm Sammy Gonzalez, everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to me. It's the scene countdown. It's been a while. but And we did the racial draft, and we had just me and TJ. Now we got a full house today. And joining me on the other side, talking at a turn. What? <laughs> we have... Oh, Spider Mike? Yeah, we have Spider Mike. We have Spider Mike, everybody. But I'm wearing the Spider Man shirt because it's comfy. And I'm wearing a Superman jacket because it's comfy. <laughs> and I have Marcos over here on the side. Why am I introducing you? Who are you? Oh, I'm wearing flannel like I'm a scientist. No, but who are you? <laughs> I'm a scientist. Tell, telling you about my top five favorite kaiju. My name is Marco. Oh, and then we have over there in the Millennium Falcon, we have. He's in the Millennium Falcon. I do be in the Millennium I'm Chewy. <laughs> I named my car the Millennium Falcon. It's got even though it's, it's got blue. Han Solo dice. Even it. though it's blue. Nice. Even though it's blue, yes. For shame. And who? Are <laughs> I'm JJ. My car's the Loser Cruiser. The Loser Cruiser. Do you have a name for your car, Marcus? EO. EO, like Captain. Eo. That was my first thought to you. I Y O. I Y O. I have a Japanese car, so I named it after oh. a Japanese woman. Oh. Okay. Eo Shirai. Yeah. Ma, well, who's that? It's not like it's a real person. It, it is a real Who person. Who is it? It's a wrestler. Polygon Lion is the first time chatter. Thanks for the gift sub, Christina. Polygon Lion, thank you for the first time chat. That's a good name. Appreciate you. Uh, my car's name is Blue Bonnet because it's blue. And uh, I like the Blue Bonnets, which are in season right now. It's very cute. But we're not talking about that. We're State talk flower. Huh? State flower. Yeah, I know it's a state flower. Yep. And I kind of want to steal some from here, which is illegal, I know. Steal some from That's here. It's actually not illegal. Is it it's not? not? It's not illegal. I thought, you, I thought it was illegal to say. pick the state flowers. No, that's mm -hmm. one of those like driving barefoot kind of things that yeah. it's not real. In that's California, just... it's illegal to uh, to pick California poppies, which is that. Oh, okay. But these, these vibrant or, uh, orange ones. And I want to steal some poppies and infest Texas with them, because those are like weeds. And then get some blue bonnets and then infect California <laughs> with them. No, they would be so pretty. So you they would be, but... Them. Environmental disasters. I was, I was about to say. I don't not, know if it would, <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> Bring in an invasive. Same, I don't know, know how much yeah. you know about botany, but those two things don't go together. <laughs> no, but see, so like, look at this. There's blue botanists right there. They're so pretty, and you get big fields of them, and yeah. they're they're gorgeous. And when I first moved here, I moved here eight years ago to the day almost. A lot of these were greeting me as I was like driving, I'm like all oh, these pretty flowers. Welcome to Austin. It's wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> I had dreams in my eyes and shit, and now I'm tired and sick. Uh, and then. Uh, California poppies, though, are also um, really, really cute and pretty and, and delightful because um, like vibrant orange. And so like those two colors would be fucking awesome together. And so I just want to cross pollinate and have them mixed together and to make a hybrid or maybe not a hybrid, but at least just have them hang out together. Yeah, well, Point is, we're not talking about that. flowers. We're talking about big Stupid, ugly monsters. I might be talking about flowers. You don't know. Oh, there, well, there, there are flower are, monsters. There are flower monsters. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Well, it's true. And also, I'm not incriminating myself because I haven't done it yet. So, so it's alleged. Right. Nothing's it, happened yet. Right. But if I leave, if I leave Texas, and all of a sudden orange flowers grow in my in my absence, we'll call Saul Goldman. He'll, he'll take care. Who of the it. fuck is that guy? You dropping names that don't know. Better call Saul. Better call Saul, man. That man can get anybody off. <laughs> I know. I mean, I've watched Breaking the Bads. Anyway, we're not talking about Breaking Bad. We're not talking about flowers anymore. We're, we're talking just about the phone. Your Honor, <laughs> is this not America? <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about big ass monsters, or as we've established, little ass monsters. We're doing top five monsters. Have we done this one before, or was no. it horror villains that we did? We did horror villains. Gotcha. Or spooky. I think we also did spookies. I, did, I uh, also did limit myself to. Big monsters. Ah, see, I didn't, and I you have, didn't but have to. But I, I have either. some. But I've limited myself to not Godzilla and King Kong, like, right? As, as, the, as the people on the list, right? Because uh, we're doing this in honor of Godzilla. But I have somebody similar to King Kong, at least. Is we're doing this in honor of Godzilla <laughs> X Kong, uh, Infinity of the New Empire uh, film. So they're running full speed. I'm going to see it in 4DX on Friday. Um, it's going to be a good time. And uh, yeah, Marcos was like, it's big old monsters. And JJ was like, fuck yeah, big ass monsters. Let's do it. So we're going to do it. Um, the rules were no, not limited to kaiju monsters, but 
any monsters that we want. But emphasis on kaiju monsters. And, and, and honestly, two of them are kaiju level and three are just regular size. But if they had like the Power Rangers, they have the morph where they get to be as big as the Megazord effect, we're going to implement that as well, just well, in case. All monsters start small. Exactly. Yeah. But but the idea being, oh shit, is that a monster or a ghost? <laughs> it depends on what you're, what you're thinking Pokemon? of. In that case, it's both. It depends on what you're thinking <laughs> of. Yeah. Okay, well, 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 my number two, I have alternates, uh, but we'll talk about it. Um, but yeah, point is... I'm curious what your number two is now. <laughs> <laughs> the, <laughs> the point is, though... Um, if we want at the end, we can all do battle, and we can just assume if you guys want to fight them oh, yourselves. I'm... Oh yeah, yeah, that's fine. But <laughs> but everybody gets gigantic's powers, and then our fives Wait, do battle, and it'll be fun time. <laughs> Immediately, oh. Luke. Oh, oh, if they fought each other is what. You're if they fought each other, if it was if it was a twenty <clears throat> battle royale, I told you we'd do this. Yeah, we t we <laughs> what? what we were like <laughs> what what so yesterday we were brainstorming together like just kind of giving each other notes and then it was like sam's gonna make us fight at the end of the episode you're goddamn right <laughs> you're goddamn right he always does this he says uh, let's make them shorter also i'm gonna tack on a fight no we're not gonna do it <laughs> tack on this extra segment we're not what we it. should do is have them fuck that's completely that, that's what we should be doing so our top five most fuckable monsters no no the no no foot woman yes <laughs> we called it christina are you also in on this dialogue here? Yeah, I, I guess Fortnite. so. He was huh? playing Fortnite. Oh, God. oh, okay. Well, you know what? We're not adding. Uh, we're letting them do it. We're we'll letting them the, decide. We'll see if the other thing you called. <laughs> all right. Well, here's another thing I'm calling. JJ's a little bitch. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry. Sorry. Making sorry, all these God. plans over Fortnite. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, talking about having inside jokes without me. How dare you have inside jokes without the excellence on the excellence about the excellence? The fuck? <laughs> Damn. The fuck is this? Damn, Sam, you you cursed at JJ. There's only one way to solve this: to the soft ground. <laughs> <laughs> if we hadn't looked up what that was, it would sound like a euphemism. <laughs> oh, oh, we're gonna go to the soft ground, all right? Mm, leave JJ alone. Fuck that. JJ needs his come up. It's once he just leaves. <laughs> he just walks away. <laughs> JJ, and you know what? Another JJ, come no, JJ, come back. And so anyway, um. Top five most fightable, fuckable monsters. Uh, let's see. If we do it, let's see. Clockwise, we'll leave Marcos last. Let's leave fucking fine. We'll leave you last, Mike, Where as our guest. Last? Huh? Why do I go last? Because um, I feel like you have an okay list. Does this, does this have to be in a specific order or just like whatever we could order? Well, since you didn't order them, you could just do whatever you want. Well, the thing is, I don't know if you guys are going to say ones that are mine. So well, that's, that's the, the whole point of the top five so, now, isn't it, Mike? So I'm going to go with um, <laughs> one of my one of my tops. He's, he's not my number one either, but that's well, the thing I want to be sure of. Him. What? He's, Sorry, um, it's uh, Titano from Superman fame. Yeah, no one's going to fucking have your list. I Titano. <laughs> Titano. Oh, me and, me and Mike might have a similar list. Titano is the giant monkey that shoots <laughs> oh, yeah. kryptonite out of his eyes. Motherfucker. No King Kong. No King Kong. I said giant monkey. I said he's similar. Giant krypton monkey. He's a, he's a gorilla that shoots kryptonite out of his eyes. Yes, he does. Dude, I've legit never heard of this guy. Me either. And I'm a DC uh, nerd. Kabam, I love Titano. Welcome Kabam. But Titano's one of my favorites. Other than giant monkey who shoots krypton laser beams out of his eyes, is there anything special about him? Was he in the fighting game or is that another monkey? Uh, no, that was, that's that was another monkey. Um, that was Grodd. But uh, no, Titano's just a fun he's just a fun like stupid silver age idea of like what if king kong shot krypton out of his eyes and i just find that fucking hysterical it, krypton, krypton, <laughs> right he showed up once yeah, he showed up once krypton. in superman the animated series is a completely different origin so he didn't shoot krypton out of his See, eyes but, but he's still but, but just but a, giant a the titano's a cyborg it varies is the thing See, because i saw this right here because there's some cyborg titanos but there's some that are not oh here's the animated one right there that's one of them that's one of the oh so he's been in multiple forms of media he has yeah. Yeah. that's pretty hilarious and look at the Green Lanterns taking him out. Titano, yep. the Kryptonite King Kong. Yep. You son of a bitch. Marcos, what's <laughs> your number? Monkey. Big Krypto Monkey. So I don't know how this what's dude's going to do in a fight, but I just love this It doesn't guy. need to be in a fight. You don't have it to doesn't have to be in a fight. fight. Just, just explain just it how you like who it. Who your favorites are. And we're telling the audience to make them fight. We're not doing it. We're not, we're not framing it ourselves that way. Well. You're fine. If you're a video game nerd and that... Grew up in the 90s and remembers arcades, and you remember Primal Rage. Yeah! Oh, yeah. And then you'll remember Diablo. Di Wait. Diablo's a good choice. Diablo? Which one's Diablo? Diablo. I, so, as a Mexican kid ah, that, yeah. that yep. had no representation, I was like, 
We got a Mexican dinosaur in Primal Rage, friends. <laughs> Mexican dinosaur. <laughs> yes, dude. <laughs> Fucking sick as shit. Primal Rage was such a like. That's one where people be like, oh, I remember that game. And then they make an info video about it. And then people just forget about it entirely again, even though there's information about oh, it. I, I never forget about it. My, I, one of the things I did to when I went to Chicago was specifically go to one of the only arcades in the world that has Primal Rage 2, which what? is a dumbass game. Galloping Ghosts. Oh, yeah. that's the, the, There is like one place that has it or something like that. Yeah, I believe it's Galloping Ghosts. It's Galloping yeah, that sounds Ghosts. right, yeah. Because they have one other, they have another, a couple other machines that are like prototypes, too, that are there. That yeah, the remember. game's not finished. But yeah, they never <laughs> finished it. They went bankrupt before that point. Look at that right there. I, so my cousin had it on uh, SNES, I believe, and then I had a Talon action figure. I thought it was the coolest shit. And, like, most of them are palette swaps anyway. Like, Sauron and Diablo are the same. <laughs> uh, and, like, the monkeys are the same. But, no, that's a fucking dope-ass pick, dude. No. It's well, been a while since I've thought if, about Primal Rage. If there's anything that was ever a missed opportunity, it's, like, making comic books about this. Like a Well, they made some that books, it looked like. They did a couple, but not a lot. Like, for some reason, they just never used them after that point. Which sucks, because it's such a great idea. Atari owns us? Who owns Atari now? Um, uh, that is a, a complicated. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah, is that a is deeper the problem. question. Yeah, it is a complicated because answer. There is currently an Atari uh, company that makes video games. Right, it's not the same Atari that we're talking about that made that. Right. Shame. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's stuck in a kind of a limbo. I think. The name and like, oh, we're gonna call ourselves Atari now. I That's think it was crazy. friend of the podcast Cargill. Like he was trying to write a Zombies Ain't My Neighbors game. But he just fucking gave up how to get the rights to write it. <laughs> Jesus. Because it's like owned or kind of owned by four or five different people. Konami and he's like, it's tricky. It, That's the problem. Uh, and it was There's a lot of games like idea. that. Yeah. There was a, I don't remember what game it was, but the guy was like trying to find the rights. And at one point, it turns like an insurance company had them somehow. <laughs> <laughs> system shock. Yeah, okay, that's what it was. It was system, system shock <laughs> because they were like, how the fuck did this happen? It just kind of happened. Yeah, because uh, it was just, it was, it was swapped around so many companies that nobody had any idea. Yeah, uh, fucking, I just saw a video today that was like Wes Craven made uh, uh, The Hills Have Eyes. By like signing over the rights to an insurance company just so he could get funding. God damn. And Jeez. so they owned it for like thirty years. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> and then one of the cool things about Primal Range is you could eat like the the fans of the dude that you were fighting and just be like, nope, this is my health. Oh, that's <laughs> right. Yeah, they're like yeah. little guys. Yeah, Primal yeah. Rage was amazing. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> they had it at the Gaddies in Del Rio and we used to play it all the time. Well, that is your number five. <laughs> What is it? Well, I was say Joaquin. That's not his name. What's his name? Diablo. Diablo. I Joaquin. went too far back. <laughs> Joaquin the dinosaur. Joaquin Diablo is his full name. Well, <laughs> that's what his mom calls him. <laughs> Joaquin Diablo the dinosaur. Wait, would Barney count? <laughs> As Hispanic? What? As a monster? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. A Barney name. is definitely black, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's true. He's also from our imagination, so his size and power scaling has no limits. He is technically... Yeah, he is a dinosaur. I guess if, he counts, if, if dinosaurs in general count as monsters, then I would, I would count him. I feel well, like. I'm taking Baby Bop anyway. <laughs> Baby Bop's got them shoes that will tread all over his ass. Anyway, that's, that's your number five. Brings yeah. me to my number five. My number five, uh, I feel like I've redone my list because you guys like the only ones I haven't done, I think, is my number one, honestly. They've all made my list in different ways. Okay. But this one is independently, um, independently as a monster and as an entity, uh, its own selection. So my number five is the mean green mother from outer space. Do you know who that is, Mike? Problem is, there's a lot of green things. Cause I'm a mean green mother <laughs> from outer space. Oh, now Audrey too. Yeah. Audrey too, baby. Audrey too scared the fuck out of me as a kid, dude. dude Audrey too is terrifying, especially <laughs> with its original ending of the movie. Oh yeah, I was gonna show that for sure. But like Audrey too from Little Shop of Horrors. Uh, oh my god, I just made a realization. Texas has a total eclipse of the sun happening in April, oh, like eighth or some shit that. like that. Yeah. And that's when Audrey too in the lore was dropped down from the alien spaceship or wherever the fuck, and you know became a plant. Needed like a little bit of blood, a little bit of uh, carne asada, and then was like, I need human flesh. And so, feed me. And so then all of a sudden it started singing soulfully, ate Rick Moranis, ate everybody in the edit, in the ending that nobody, you know, wanted because it was too sad or whatever. It but, was just uh, a scary ending, Chris. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's the ending of the play if you watch it like live, apparently. Right. And Audrey 2 just fucks up 
everybody. And we're talking about like, you know, a kaiju level fight. Well, this one is like, oh no, he's a planet engulfing monster. Hold they on. spent a shit ton of money on this ending too. Oh yeah, they were like, oh, we, we spent too much. Oh shit, we, we gotta really do this. But yeah, no. It's just vines. Signed over the rights to an insurance company. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, no, he becomes a legit, like, Godzilla-like monster at the end of it, takes over the planet, and then I don't know what happens. That's always the thing, is I don't understand after world destruction, what happens afterwards. Like, he, he destroys all humanity. Now, is, does he have to make, like, humanity slaves to... He can feast on them. I think the idea is he just eats everybody, and then he just goes to another planet after. But how does I think he fly? Does he, get the, does he have a big ship now? Does he have to build the ship? I'm not really sure. So we know what I'm saying. Yeah. Of course. Maybe that's the end of his life cycle after it takes over a planet, consumes everything there is there, and then it shoots out spores. Right. But did he? But does he have cognizance in those spores? But yeah, he gets, he fucks up everything, and he's a good singer. Yes. If you do two of those things, if you fuck up everybody and are a good singer, I don't know... Another person that has that combo. See, so that would have been on my list. I think on your list. Is that on my list? But um, is it the guy from fucking uh, Dragon? No, fuck, no. like a dragon. What's the Yakuza? There you go. Oh, Kiryu. Yeah. <laughs> does he Kiryu sing? Kazama? I know he dances. He does sing. Yeah. yeah. There's a great meme about it. But not yeah. what you're thinking about. The, no, no the, also not a monster. Oh, we're not talking about monsters. <laughs> oh, I, I was talking about anybody. A monster I that actually, sings and beats things a, up? Yeah, maybe. There's a parody of Audrey on um, Billy and Mandy. Yeah. The, the brain. The brain. Oh, there's a on. lot of great parodies of, of Audrey. There's I um. I don't even think you'll get copyright. There's a boss me. in Double uh, Dragon. He's pretty cool, the singer-songwriter. Yeah. Uh, his name is Aurelio Voltaire. Oh, okay. Let's see. Yeah, there's a boss in Double Dragon Neon called Marion 2. Okay. That's just the giant plant monster. Brains, 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 I will lie. Hey, the brains to the zombie fly. <laughs> I, haven't seen that. I haven't seen that in years. <laughs> that is neato. That's a great episode. Oh, my uh, that's like one singer, of my filler. Uh, the guy that plays the brain and the guy that wrote the song and uh, plays it. Uh -huh. He has a YouTube channel, uh, Lara Voltaire. Oh. Nice. Audelio Voltaire, I believe is his name. He still tours. He still does small shows. <laughs> Good for him. And, cool and, Le and Levi Stubbs passed away in 2008 who sang the original Little Shop of Horrors. That's my number five. JJ, you're number five. Well, I'm going to stick with the theme of plants. All right. I'm going with the pog from Jumanji. The fat ass oh. white girl. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, there's one in that movie? Yeah. I was about to say, is there? Uh, I, don't th I don't think that woman was that thick, yeah. Let's see. Now, the ant wears an overcoat most of the movie. Yeah, it's hard to tell with the ant. The yeah. po wait, the pod? This one? Yeah. The pod. The pod. <laughs> Oh, I thought you said Pog, P-O-G. I did. That was my mistake. I okay. remember it as Pog. Gotcha. It's fine. I was like, the, <laughs> like Pog. I if there was a Pog, David Allen Greer would have found her, is all I'm saying. <laughs> oh, my God. This is very erotic. I don't know what this is. Explain. I, I, I haven't seen Jumanji since it came out. All right. So. I know the concept, but it's like. It's a haunted board game. Right. Already terrifying. Because one, board game's boring. Two. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the sequel's about, technically, yeah. <laughs> no, uh, but they roll the dice in Jumanji, and uh, these plants start springing up. Like, mm -hmm. these vines just start popping out of nowhere. And these pretty little, like, purple flowers show up. And Kirsten Dunn's character even says, oh, my God, they're beautiful. Right. And Robin Williams is like, yeah, they're pretty. Keep the fuck away from us. <laughs> They shoot out poisonous barbs, the little purple ones. Oh, my God. Says, Watch out for the pod, the big yellow one. <laughs> what big yellow one? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I forgot about this entirely. All I remember were the monkeys. <laughs> That's all I remember from this movie. And Kirsten Dunst is in this movie, I think. She yeah, is. Yeah, she's yeah, one of the kids. That rhino. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, the one that's like was slowly slow behind the rest of them. <laughs> so what makes? Like, it, I mean, is it just because it's? Oh, that's gross. It is. Yeah, it's, it's horrifying looking. It, yeah, it's the, it, it legit scared me. Like it not like traumatized me and had nightmares about it as a kid, but I it did make me go like, ew. Yeah, I don't want to like run into that in the woods. I don't, <laughs> no, you well, don't want guys, to run into that in the woods, <laughs> guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna say it, it looks like a butthole. It looks like a butthole. I wasn't gonna say it, but you, yeah. Oh, but but not like the good kind of butthole either. Like it's like, like the, the kind you can eat. <laughs> none. That's, That's none buttholes kind, actually. That's none buttholes kind, are good enough to eat. I mean, ugh, and it's got barbs and stuff too. Yeah, Fuck it still this. poisons you. I imagine when yeah. you're being eight. I hate that. <laughs> I'm done looking at it.
Now we're on to you. So I do Number have four. I do have one that's also a video game one. Uh, it's a Ralph from uh, Rampage. Rampage. Ralph from <laughs> oh, well, okay. Wreck it. Ralph the Wolf. Dude, when you said Primal Rage, I thought Rampage, and then it was Primal Rage, and now we're back to Rampage. Yeah. Did you like the movie? I did actually. It's not bad. I was bummed out that Ralph was kind of lame in it. Oh. <laughs> Not this Ralph. Because that was my Ralph growing up, the PS1 one. Uh I love that fucking character, and I used the shit out of him. So, Ralph, they have, like, kind of personalities, I'm assuming? I mean, it's a very basic arcade game. Yeah, they they all have their very specific personalities, because they're they're people turned into giant monsters. That's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so he's just this kind of, like, weird-looking dude who just eats things, and he howls and stuff. So he's just a lot of fun. I really liked his design a lot growing up and so i used them in like every game that i I played from then on when did you where did you like is this on like ps2 that you bought the rampage game it was a ps1 game it was called rampage world tour oh there it is, there it, is. <laughs> it had, yeah, I had um, that one too yeah it had a it had like cutscenes and everything it was really great i loved it I me and my brothers i want to see some time. footage of this hold on rampage world tour was the name ralph yeah ralph let's see let's see if i can find your playthrough as a child and if it'll make you happy well, this is three hours, so hopefully we'll find something here. <laughs> <laughs> Click like mad. Oh, here we go. <laughs> so this, going, yeah, just go around punching shit. So this is your whole childhood is just punching. It buildings. was, yeah. We rented it all the time. And oh, it, you didn't own it. You just rented it. Yeah, well, we yeah, because we only owned some of them. Um, that was one that we didn't own. But we rented it all the time. Oh my god, that reminds me. The last game, one of the last games I rented was the SWAT Cats game. Oh really? And my, I didn't know that had a game. Exactly. That's hard. And my dad was like, "Okay, when you're on your last life, when you're when you die, you're done, right?" But at the beginning of the level I was at, there was a one up, and so I just did that for 45 minutes until he got. <laughs> j- he was like, "Wait a minute, how do you keep living? You should have been done." And that, that that was the last memory of a rental game that I had. Oh, but okay. Fucking Ralph. Alberto Blaze is that? Oh, that's the name of the person playing. I thought that was the name. I thought no. we had another Hispanic character. Mm. Alberto Blaze, aka Ralph. Your number four. Yes. Marcos, your number four. Oh, this one's pretty easy. And just yesterday while we were brainstorming, somebody made the suggestion, and I was like, eh, eh. All right, I'm gonna leave it on my list. And it's just Titans from Attack on Titan. <laughs> That's not a bad uh, one. That's not a bad answer. But is there a specific Titan that you like more than the others, though? So it's kind of funny because the correct answer is the Colossal Titan. Because it's a fair, it's a fair answer, <laughs> actually. Yeah. <laughs> wow, I can't spell Colossal for shit. Anyway, go ahead. Uh, an almost even creepier answer is the one that eats Aaron's mom. Uh, oh, that one. Yeah. But there's a very specific the backstory for that one was weird. Yeah, that caught me off guard when they finally explained what was going on with that one. God, I can't Boom. move. I can't. <laughs> this one here. What the fuck? See, that's why I never watched Attack on Titan because these things were so creepy to me and I didn't like them and the way they looked. Like, I know they're just humans that got corrupted. It's crazy how long that show was on. I have yeah. uh, I have to explain a lot of lore to tell you about the Titans. It would are. take a while, is the problem. <laughs> well, something, but, something, I know one of the something, somethings something turns into Nazis. something. <laughs> yeah, kind of something, something Nazis. <laughs> but like, I didn't want to watch Inside Out monsters and with their teeth exposed and their groins exposed and well, the eating the Titan heads off of things. Scary because it's so huge and it exudes steam. Like just like, being whatever around the it. Fuck this is. Um, I don't want that. I don't want that in my life. But a normal Titan is already because they're so happy to eat you. Like it's yeah. yeah. Like, I don't want that. <laughs> this is like all of the Titans gross me. It's a good pick. It's because yeah. they all gross me out a lot. I fucking hate looking at them. I don't know why I keep doing it. Like, what the fuck is this about? Oh, that's the cart. What's that about? <laughs> <laughs> why is this fate? What's wrong with your face? I mean, that's I think just that's Jerry Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> it has a cart. Oh, my God. It's got turrets and shit on the back. Yeah. <sighs> I hate this pick so much because I keep <laughs> looking at them and none of them are getting better. You said the which is the one the ultimate one has steam coming out of his head. The colossal Titan, yeah, colossal Titan. He's the inside out looking one. What the fuck? What's the steam? Where does the steam come from? It's from muscles. It's just orange is organs. Yeah, yeah. It's just that like their bodies just they produce a lot of steam in general. God, it, they literally so are kind of an allegory for an a- atomic bomb as they wipe. Out things across the continent. Oh, yeah. There's a lot going on in that story. <laughs> I like it's, it's all based better. on World War II. The writer kind of liked the Nazis, and um, he's a strange one. Yeah, yeah. he almost got canceled. The, the, the <laughs> only reason he didn't is because people forgot. <laughs> <laughs> so are the are the are the colossal titans the Nazis? No, they're actually the Jews. Yeah, 
Wait, what? Got never mind. <laughs> yeah. doing it. And that's, no, Christina, that's I'm the not thing. Watching. Yeah, <laughs> that's the re- like I said. He almost got canceled for his shit, but like I said, everyone had forgotten. Was just like giant things. Uh, <laughs> we're moving on from this one to talk about once again. If you want to scare me, just pick my number four. Yeah. My number four. I put number four in the search engine for YouTube. That's where I'm at right now. My number four, <laughs> though, uh, I've brought up the, these games a lot. Um, the creator of Gundam called them nationalist. Yeah, that's the opposite kind of story they're going for there. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I've talked about this game a lot and how it's one of my favorite games of all time. I never got past a certain level because I'm not smart and it's puzzle based. But I've seen my brother finish it. And anytime I'm in this goddamn level where these characters, these monsters exist, I want to cry even now. And I'm not even going to say the name. I'm just going to play the audio that they make. And I'm going to make myself cry because fuck this noise. Do you know what this is, Mike? The Redux? It's the goddamn Redeads from okay. Legend of Zelda. Uh, I, didn't, I, I didn't own the um, a 64 growing up. So uh, it's, not, it's not buried in my memory. It would have. I thought, like, I thought the, the general lore might have got you in there, but no, the fucking redead. So essentially, you you get the temple of time. You do the time machine, or whatever. And these motherfuckers, the, the goddamn redeads, they take over the temple and they're in all sorts of dark caverns or whatever. And you can't get close. Or they freeze you, and yeah. they scream while they freeze you, and then you can kind of break out as they get closer. But if you don't, they latch onto your face and they uh, they assault you essentially. Yeah, it's, it's and so you always have like the you know very creepy music because I know of them. It's just that yeah, it's just not a sound effect that I would remember. They because I played it on the 3DS. That was by the time I played it. Yeah, because they groan and then they're just like these weird. See, and you're like, nope, can't move. Just picked Fuck. a mini Titan. Yay! <laughs> you kind of did, yeah. <laughs> and they, they're horrifying. They don't really die. They're, there you go. That they, just looks wrong. Yeah. They fucking R. Kelly, you get it? Because That just looks like a, a guy who works for Nickelodeon <laughs> is the issue. And you're dead. And you just fucking die. And he sucks your brains out. And he screams at you. And then if you look at the actual art... Uh, I thought it was like time to touch you. No, if you look at the actual art and like what they were going you didn't say for, suck your brain out. no, it's that. That's what yeah. they're supposed to look like in the actual art. What the fuck is going on in this area? It's just like veins and shit. God, I hate these it's characters. Where their dick so used to be. They had a dick because that's no. Crazy. It's just no. I'm talking about like the hip vo- oh. veins and nastiness. Oh, okay. like, it works out. The gristle. <laughs> like he must scene, work out. Like, <laughs> fucking nasty, and then there he is, like choking him out. <laughs> I love that image so much. Hey, watch this. Because it's Link's face. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. And, so, and yeah, no, fuck all of these guys. I hate Redeads. They scare me now. I don't like it. It's the same level of fear as I have with the goddamn moon from uh, Majora's Mask. There's a lot of creepy shit in these Zelda games from my childhood, and it gave me a fear of 8-bit things like corruption and weird... Like, I've tried to describe this weird weird fear I have with like analog shit I think people uh, Key actually knows a bit more like analog horror that shit gives me analog horror but that's my number four fucking re-deads from Legend of Zelda uh, 64 JJ you're number four alright I'm gonna go with the overall theme of video games that we had on this and uh, these guys are tiny but there's a lot of them oh, no. and they look like bugs and I fucking hate them what <laughs> Starship Troopers no The Flood Oh, Halo. <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah, the flood. The flood oh, freaked no. me the fuck out growing up. Yeah, and it, they come out of nowhere in Halo One. That's the best thing about Halo One is that if you had no <laughs> idea what's going on in Halo One, and you get to that point, you're like, "What the actual fuck is going on?" Well, I never played Halo One in Xbox. What happens there? So in Halo One, you're fighting aliens, right? Like it's you're fighting the Covenant, and you land on the Halo, right? And you're still just killing the Covenant. Right. Then yeah, you're like, we need to stop the Covenant from doing so, like anything kind of thing, right, and then so you're like, so it's just it's just a normal sci-fi story, yeah. and then it's not. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Then you get to this one level where like you have to write like. Yeah, it's like covered in blood. And yeah. You're like, what the fuck happened here? This is weird. This right. is red blood. <laughs> oh no! You're looking for like a, a lost general or something. Jenkins, if you. You're will. looking yeah. for keys. Yeah, you're looking for Captain yeah. Keys. And fucking. All hell breaks loose once you find the Vilfilo. Oh and there God. are, if you can find the, uh, what is it, the, 
the little terminals. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. You'll get some backstory on it, but it's very vague. It's very just, like, scattershot, like... Wah, wah, wah. Yeah, yeah, imagine you were, like, watching Buck Rogers, and then it just turned into Resident Evil. And you're oh, like, no! And you're like, what the fuck happened? <laughs> Hold on, I want to see this. <laughs> Hold get still! Out. Hold get still! Let him have it! Ah! <laughs> yeah, fuck that noise. Sergeant, we're surrounded! God damn it, Jenkins! Fire your weapon! There are too many, Sergeant! Don't even think about it, Marine! <laughs> oh, this is loco! <laughs> yeah, most of, the Mar- most of the Marines are Mexican. That's the best thing about Halo. That's true today. <laughs> oh, yep. <laughs> da, 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 da. The funniest da, thing da. is finding out why Johnson survived the flood. <laughs> How did he survive the flood? It's because he, he had cancer and they didn't want to deal with him. The flood? Yeah, the flood. Because jo- Johnson gained like super cancer from like a crate of plasma grenades that oh, exploded yeah. near him. And they were like, I don't want to deal with you. And so they just left him alone. <laughs> that is ridiculous. It's crazy. You're like, what the fuck? Okay, cool. <laughs> the flood has the ability to decipher cancer. We yeah, should apparently. use them to find cancer. But So uh, they were just well, like, okay, uh, that cool. That comes at a cost. <laughs> what happens? Oh, do they get absorbed like this? Yeah, yeah. they all look like that um, for the most part. That's like the, the newest version of them in three, I guess. But they're horrifying. Yeah, dude, I don't, don't like this at and all. And then the sounds they make, too. Yeah, it's all creepy. I, I hate the flood. <laughs> <laughs> Do little creepy crawlies generally scare you? Yeah. Um, there might be more bugs in my list. <laughs> uh, there's one that I'm thinking of now, that, I, but I, I don't know if I want to put them on my list now because they're fucking horrifying. Well, but, that's like the point. Uh, you can, but, that's like I, the I'm point. Going if like, it's what, if, I don't know if, you, if it's one that you have or not. Probably not. I'm trying to veer away from like the main bug ones. I'm, I'm going to... It's an anime one. No goddamn right. Mothra. A random a- anime one. Well, that is your number four, and that brings us to your number three, Mike. Okay, because the one I'm thinking is going to be higher up on the list now. Um, my <laughs> number three is uh, it's another game one, but I feel like I'm cheating with this one. Wow. Um, because this isn't. I, I guess he's a monster only because his name is Monster, which is Monster Ock from the PS1 Spider Man game. <laughs> and that thing horrified me as a kid. Mo- Doc Ock. Monster Ock. Yeah, yeah from, from Spider Man PS1. Yeah. Uh, uh, Monster Ock is, is a. Did you fuck this guy? Bot. Oh, guy. I'm sorry, Marco. I legit. <laughs> like, I don't know why you said that. Like, I was like, I believe I So, Monster Ock is the final. I'm using boss as quoting finger because you don't actually fight him. Uh, he's uh, he's Doc Ock <laughs> with the Carnage oh, symbiote, and he's just yelling "die" at you over and over again as you run away from him as the place is exploding around you. But you don't actually <laughs> fight him. You don't fight him because he kills he kills you instantly, and he oh. just he just growls and creepily and yells out "die" in just the horrifying ways, and you're just like, "Oh my god, I just keep running, just keep running." <laughs> has has <laughs> it ever has it ever uh, been in any other f- medium at all? Not that I know of. No. Well, let's take a look. But as but as a kid, it horrified me. Let's take a look at him. Yeah, as a kid, that's cre- that freaked me the fuck out because he's just the sounds he makes. It has a little tracker of how close it gets yeah. to you. Yeah. Oh my and god! If it gets too close, you die instantly. And so it's just you Swing, running. Damn you! Yeah, fucking swim, you stupid fuck. You deserve to die. You fucking swing right away. I bet it looks really shitty in this day and age, but I remember Carnage kind of scaring me in the Super Nintendo. Like, no, oh. he still scares me as an adult because he's hard to fight. Hold <laughs> on, Carnage, Super. Did I tell you I finally beat that game for the first time in like ten fucking years, like a year ago? No. Yeah, it took me ten years to beat that. Maximum, maximum Carnage. Maximum Carnage. Oh, yeah. Maximum Carnage. I spent pretty much my entire life trying to beat that game, and then I finally. <laughs> did and like without any cheating and it was just the fucking greatest feeling i think yeah. we had this on ga- uh game gear yeah probably i don't yeah. remember him being that thin for sure <laughs> yeah a lot of people forget that carnage is actually smaller than venom but he's like way stronger than he is puck, he's also puck. got like a horrifying laugh in the game like every time he hits you i just want to see him hit oh is he gonna do an untouched run <laughs> funky i fucking line. love that song I listen to that song all the time. Uh, he's one. not scary. Banshee got him. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, imagine that Monster Ock in the Latin. Dude, Monster Ock for Spider Man 2 PS5. That'd be cool with that. That'd be. I mean, imagine like Carnage is like, oh, I'm just going to take dead Doc Ock and resurrect his body and <laughs> use his tentacles. That. 
Yeah, yeah going on him for going the fucking bit. town on that we guy. We need more of that. We need more of that in our life. Monster Rock counts. I'll give you that. He's horrifying. That's, yeah, that's still, pretty Still spooky. freaks me the fuck also, out. Also, I love that first Spider-Man <laughs> game on PlayStation. That game's amazing. Yeah. It's got this what-if mode that's so fucking funny. Uh, it's, it's so great. <laughs> it's the what-if mode. It, it just it changes a bunch of stuff that makes them like really silly. Like when you fight Doc Ock the first time, he's now like a tiny version of him. He goes, I'm mini Ock, And then you fight him. You're like, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> and then one level turns into like a bunch of psychedelic shit everywhere. And then you see some merit. Like there's a bunch of weird shit that just happens. Like the game, like it's the story mode, but just weird shit is happening in the middle of it. That seems pretty it's interesting. So I want to see, I want to see mini Ock. Oh, here. Let's, what? This is already, I already saw a screen, a still of it. Why can't we have whimsy in our video games anymore? Yeah, I loved it. Like, because now it's DLC for five ninety nine. But it's not even, <laughs> it's not even that. Like Madden, I can't play as a team of bears anymore. So, when you say whimsy, the first thing that pops into my head is not Madden. No, <laughs> well, that's, no but that's what I'm saying though. Like Madden you want has no game. whimsy. You no, want... it was Blitz though. It was I Blitz. just remembered my favorite thing that What If does is that, so Black Cat's captured at one point in it, but when you find her in the What If mode, she's forced to dance. And so she's just dancing. <laughs> Non-stop when you find her. It's oh, you, so just, weird. you just remember this? You just yeah. remember this and didn't press that button like seventeen times. It was so funny. Sure. Well, oh, yeah. it's a cutscene of it's her funny, dancing. Yeah. It's funny her dancing. Black cat. Mm. She's not great looking on the PS1 one, so <laughs> that's the thing. For your for your yeah. eleven to twelve to fourteen year old mind, it might have been enough. No, look up look up what she looked like in the PS1 game. You're like, oh Jesus. But not <laughs> but not before I look at the whimsy that is mini <laughs> He's all tidy, yeah. So it's just the same boss fight, but he's all tiny. Not sure anyone would put this game in their top five comic games. In oh shit! I would. It's so. <laughs> it was really good, and it's got really good writing to this day. Jesus Christ! Okay, we're gonna look up one more thing, and that's gonna be what was it Black Cat? Yeah. Black Cat PS One Spider Man. Let's see here. Hey, that's enough for me. Is this it? No, Spider Man Two. That's Spider Man Two. Yeah, you gotta find. That's that's the movie one too. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, it, it only it's has Spider-Man 1, or Spider-Man 2. P oh, PS2. It's PS1, right? Yeah, it's a PS1 game. Sorry. Press the wrong button. Oh, hey, you know what? That's enough for me. I can make it work. <laughs> well, it's not the most romantic proposition. Oh, this is the... Black Cat. Oh, I'm so glad it's you. This is giving me... Oh, no, this is, this is the Dreamcast version of it. Oh, my God. Now you're... Now you're, you're, you're... I'm serious. There are two different versions of it. She has this, like, the PS1 one has this weird flat face, and it's just weird looking. Yeah, we're looking at her face when we're dan when she's dancing around. Point is, that's your number three. Yes. Probably looks like wrestling games from back then. Right. <laughs> kind of, yeah. That's actually what it was. Dude, <laughs> dude, Tony Hawk Pro Skater... No, Tony Hawk Underground, you could upload your face somehow. Like, the internet was barely a thing, and it's like, take a picture of yourself and just slap it on one of the skaters. Like, I, the same way i do want to say on this note randomly there was a super nintendo game and you could download things for it once in a while there you go um, yeah i found i found <laughs> the picture yeah point is i believe yeah. well anyway <laughs> yeah it's like what the fuck so you're number three on my number three if you're a normal american nerd when it comes to monster movies like you know godzilla you know king kong you know Probably a couple other guys, but these guys, it's like you gotta, you gotta kind of be in the know. Like when we were talking about Akira Toriyama, and like, oh, these VHSs are golden, and you had to kind of like take care of it and secretly talk about it, right? And that's how you find out about like other Godzilla type kaiju, like Space Godzilla and Destroya mm. and stuff like Destroyer. that. Destroya. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, but my favorite. And it's probably along the lines of what you were talking about with Audrey too. It's Biolante. Yeah, yeah, Biolante. Biolante. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I think you've brought this one up before. It uh, is one of the most interesting kaiju of the entirety of the Godzilla. Yeah. It's like snakes and vines and a heart chest piece. It's and like a, a gator. It's like skeleton. a highly mutated rose or something like that. It's mutated with Godzilla DNA, yeah. basically. What the fuck, dude? That's so. And it's weird. massive too. That's the thing. It's bigger than Godzilla by like it is, two yeah. or three times. <laughs> it's massive. <laughs> Plant beast. It's so big. What the fuck? That's really cool. What yeah. are the powers? I mean, it's normal. it's gigantic. It's it's, it shoots out. Like, <laughs> it's it shoots big. like pollen stuff. It can absorb energy. I think, if I remember correctly, off of Godzilla. If I remember correctly, it beats Godzilla. Yeah, it beats the shit out of Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> so the relations: Godzilla, Cell Source, Human Spirit, Space Godzilla, 
possible descendant Godzilla Earth yeah because when it dies it shoots out all the the Godzilla DNA and it goes into space at some point so that's why people theorize it created space I like the, the enemies all the other monsters Godzilla King Ghidorah Destroya yeah bro Mogura, I don't know Mogura. if it ever fights those other guys no but, but if you go to, movie, yeah. to YouTube and f- Oh, you're just that's, sure, the yeah, that's the roars. That's the roar. The roar is fantastic. Nice. If you see Biolanti fight Godzilla, it's just like it's also one of the few female win? kaiju that's yeah, like it's, confirmed. It's just Biolanti and Mothra, isn't it? Wait, Godzilla yeah, that's kind of it. Oh my shit! There's a Jojiro video game. It's got the info there. So it absorbs Rose? energy, then yet Godzilla has the yeah, shot. So yeah, it absorbs energy. Oh no! Wait, what'd you say, Jojiro? Rose with Godzilla DNA and its creator's daughter. What? Yeah. The fuck? Well, here's the video game of them fighting. Oh yeah, because it's only in um, the Wii version, if I remember correctly. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, it's fucking massive. I forgot it does have acid speed. It was supposed to be in Save the Earth, but it was too big for the that version of the game. They're like, we can't do this. <laughs> God damn, that's just so big. Hold on, that was just it came up on the autofill. So let's take a look at the actual movie fight. Uh, also, like all the Godzilla movies from this time, just look awesome, dude. I love the '90s time frame. It's yeah. so great. That's my favorite Godzilla era is the '90s. Jesus like Christ, '80s to '90s. It's like not surprising that Godzilla minus one looks that great when they've been operating on like n- bad budgets for forever. Yeah, and it's just and it looks great. It's such a great design, and then when it moves, it's just like. God, it's just crazy. Oh my god, it's got Godzilla by the head! <laughs> so is that the next Godzilla vs. Kong Big Bad? No, it's I'd a I'd be cool with that. It's uh, basically a giant orangutan. But, no, no, I'm saying uh, after this one. I'd be cool if they bring her bring her back. I love that fucking kaiju. I mean... Because that was one of one on, that would have been on my list at one point. There's... You can literally do any of the monsters from this era, and it had been. It'd be cool to see an Americanized version of it, and it, it, despite people thinking that I might do want be Space Godzilla, Space Godzilla, oh, God, Destroya, Batra actually looks really cool. Batra, yeah, Batra would be really cool. Yeah. How do you guys um, know so much about these kajus? Oh, we watched a lot of those channel. movies. Yeah, the Sci-Fi, <laughs> the sci-fi yeah. Channel showed a lot of those specific ones. Yeah, okay. like I remember being in Eagle Pass and watching Godzilla versus Mega Godzilla two at my grandmother's house. Yeah. I'm trying to look at Batra. Oh, it's the little worm moth thing. No, yeah, it's it's Mothra's like arch enemy. It's Got, like a bat version. Gotcha. That's so strange. I will say that one of the cool things that has happened over time in Godzilla in general is that Mexicans got Rodan. Yeah, we just what? all of a sudden yeah, Rodan, Rodan's now ours, and I'm perfectly fine with that because he was one of my favorites growing up. Why is Rodan Mexican? He comes out of the volcano. Yeah, ah, Mexico. That works. Yeah, he comes out from Mexico. <laughs> just comes out. Ah! There you go, right and he there. attacks Mexico in the second movie of the American ones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah he's kind of Quetzalcoatlus-ish. He looks great. I love Is he Rodan. in the movies? He's in the second one. He's in King yeah. of the Monsters. I, I haven't seen that one. I want to because it it's looks extra spooky. I love that one soundtrack a that lot. That one soundtrack's amazing. The movie itself is nonsense, but it's great. Yeah, <laughs> I just really like the end where Godzilla just final flashes everything. Uh, <laughs> yeah. it's, great. it's fucking just great. It's a Vegeta final flash. <laughs> it's, a fun, it's a fun Godzilla movie if you don't really care about the plot other than the fighting. Who? Like That's the best thing about that movie. Other than watching this last one, who cares about Godzilla plots? I have oh, you're plenty of answers for that. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of great Godzilla movies with great plots. We just watched one called Minus One. <laughs> no, I said my, but Minus <laughs> That One. That shit. <laughs> yeah, Shin Godzilla had great plots. Okay, yeah, uh, Shin Godzilla has a great plot. Godzilla, Mothra, King Ghidorah. Whatever, my number three also has a great plot. I love your pick. Just one more thing. All these '90s uh, Godzillas actually have a pretty good plot. Yeah, a lot of them are fun, <laughs> except for Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah because that was batshit insane. But I love that movie. <laughs> It's a Terminator story, and it's fucking great. Well, that's your number three, Biolante. Uh, that sounds Mexican to me. Biolante. You don't want to claim that. <laughs> Bi- Biolante. There's a lot of weird fan fiction about that character. What? Yeah. Why did you look at that? I did it. My friend pervert. did, and he told me about it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Bro, yeah my fr- Again, with the black cat porno, and <laughs> this I would I would admit to black cat shit. Not so much Biolante. <laughs> <laughs> Bio... Well, anyway... Well, well, you, never mind. I'm just going to stop and go, go to my number three. Uh, we're going to go smaller scale. Fuck this. You guys are getting too, you guys are getting too out of hand. <laughs> it's too much. All right. Look at Paragon Roar. We're not, but what's, thank you. What's Paragon Roar? <laughs> Paragon's a fun one, yeah. What does Paragon sound like? He's this little small one. <laughs> no, I said look up the roar. I'm going to do it. Because <laughs> my, number, my number three speaks for itself. Um, and it's not going to be very long. Paragon Roar. It better not be like, ah! I don't remember Let's what it see. is, actually. Paragon Roar. 
It's kind of adorable. <laughs> I think that's just behind the scenes stuff. No, but it's just like, ah! <laughs> Hold on, let me find it. It looks like a mole rat. It does look like a mole rat. Baragon roars. Let's yeah, see. Yeah, he's from like an older kaiju film, apparently, originally. Well, I was doing research for this. There's a lot of like, oh man, Godzilla made a lot of money. Let's make our version of Godzilla. Yeah, that's kind of what that was one. Yeah, Mystery Science Theater has made fun of many of them. Is this just a high pitched scream? Yeah, he's adorable. I know these two won't be on anyone's list, but like, <laughs> America made the claw, which is basically like a giant fucking, um, not an ostrich, a giant, giant fucking condor. Oh, that one. I know what yeah. you're talking about, yeah. Oh, uh, oh, they were talking about, by the way, just the, the roar in the suit. Uh, which yeah, is. the suit roar is really funny. Yeah! <laughs> 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 I love those guys. North, okay, I have to. North, North Korean, Korean Godzilla. Godzilla. North And then Korean. the UK has, okay. like, it came from the Fathoms or some shit. Like that one I've also heard of, yeah. Polgasar? Oh, my God. Oh, what the fuck Not is that? Not Polgasar. Not Paul, Paul Gasol. Suddenly, it comes to, it to full size. He actually looks pretty cool. Teru Yoshi. Oh, oh, Polgasari. The Empire tries to capture Polgasari in a giant oh, so it's cage just like, I'm death, talking about surprise, it. it doesn't work. It's like a suit. It's like a like a Megazord dragon. As, yeah, as it looks like. But anyway, uh, my well, you guys, if you looked at the fucking tabs, if you guys are tab lookers on the show, my number three is very easy. It's a pocket monster. It's one of them Pokemons. It's fucking Squirtle, baby. That's a great answer. Squirtle's the best <laughs> monster. He's so cute. He's got a round head. He squirts water. His name is Squirtle. He's a little turtle friend. Probably lives to be a billion years old. And then, <laughs> and then you get become Blastoise, and you get a Blastoise when you take care of it. And War Turtle's fine. It's like a stupid kid brother. You don't really need him. But then you just like, all right, be better, and you beat him up a bit, and then he becomes your big bro. And then you get a Blastoise. And uh, in the interim, though, you get the cutest motherfucker of all time. And. Uh, yeah, look at that. Look at that baby Squirtle. When I think of Blastoise now, I think of that clip that I keep seeing online of it, like, washing a car. <laughs> and then what happens is that it shoots it too hard and the roof just flies off of it. And he's like, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, there it is. Because I keep seeing it his car. Okay, because that's, like, the, the, the whatever version of it is for the, what it's called. Yeah, Megavax, Megavax. And then there's whatever. Gigantics. And then there's all sorts of other ones. I thought ones. you were saying Carfax. I'm checking the Carfax right now. <laughs> Check the Carfax. Squirtle is adorable. What did, Christina, why is she saying things I don't understand? Out the it. Called it. Called it. How did she know? We predicted that you would pick up Pokemon. Oh, well, you guys oh, just the Pokemon, Pokemon in general. Get Pokemon. Yeah, they're Pokemon monsters. Yeah, well, because yeah. that was, I thought you were going to pick a Pokemon because that's what he said. He was like, make sure Pokemon are well, allowed. Well, now I might. Well, <laughs> now I might. To, to, Maybe to he'll pick a digi that, yeah. Digimon. It's a digital monster. You know what? Also, Fuck yeah, it. That, Fuck it. I'm Maybe Skull Greymon traumatized me. You don't know. <laughs> that's the one with the Greymon. jeans. That thing was horrifying. Yeah. Yeah. Skull Greymon is legit. Skull scary. Greymon <laughs> came out of nowhere. That thing was terrifying. Is that the one with the blue jeans? No. no, it's just That's the a wolf. It's just the oh my god, fucking skeleton. What the fuck is this? It's what happens if you like verbally abuse yeah. Agumon. Apparently, you mistreat your Digimon. He turns into a and giant try evil to force version it to the next level. Yeah, it, it's corrupted. Well, if I force my squirrel, it, it just like becomes an angry war turtle. So I'm fine. Squirrel for the win is the best. I only added a Pokemon because I was allowed to. What? Sorry, it's just like I know you don't mean to do it, but I think because of your job, you watch too much news sometimes. And I was like, that was like a spot-on Trump and Trump impersonation. <laughs> Squirtle's the best. It's best Squirtle is the best. <laughs> Tonight, there's no starter that's better than Squirtle. <laughs> Bulbasaur, fuck that guy. <laughs> Brock tries to run a gym. It's not Doesn't very open good, his gym, eyes. folks. What a weirdo. Not a very good gym, folks. <laughs> JJ, you're three. number three. Well, I would have got, got there. I would have got there. <laughs> I was helping. I'm half asleep. If you could tell by my eyes, they don't want to stay yeah, awake. This is the fastest. Now I am going to pick countdown. a Pokemon. <laughs> All right, we're doing I battle. You had a Pokemon. Uh, there was one in like my back pocket. Okay, go. That's up to you. <laughs> now it's in his front That's pocket. That's where it lives in, yeah. in the pocket. That's where they go. That's where I also where I keep my balls. <laughs> Which I shave with Manscaped. <laughs> not there yet. We're not we're 20, we're five minutes. You shave your polka balls with Manscaped? What's wrong with you? Well, He's I mean, I just kind of leave them around. What are you putting on your polka balls? He wants to be the very <laughs> Pocket best. linty. <laughs> <laughs> JJ, your number three. My number three. There's already a Godzilla in Pokemons. And there's one Pokemans that you call when Godzilla and Whale Godzilla get out of hand. Ghostbusters. 
That's Rayquaza. Rayquaza coming in with the steel chair. Rayquaza, Rayquaza has no chill. I love Rayquaza. <laughs> oh, the big dragon thing. Yeah. Because uh, it isn't also like hates that one other Pokemon from space. <laughs> it's like fuck that guy particularly. Yeah. <laughs> The guy looks like he causes trouble. I never, yes. I never got this far in Pokemon. So so say, like, isn't this the Ruby one based Sapphire, on uh, like uh, Kyogre is sort of like the guardian of water, the and then Groudon is the guardian of earth, and then they fight, and then when they fight, like Rayquaza's like, "You motherfuckers woke me up for this." <laughs> isn't Rayquaza based on Quetzalcoatl? Yeah, yeah. Also that. What's his deal? I was gonna say, what's his deal? Like, what's his? Is he like a grass or a god or a He's what type? Flying of? dragon. Flying dragon. That's I think. Or he just wants the nap. <laughs> Just, just let him sleep. Like he's a he's a tired boy. He's the sleepy. Oh man. my god, meme. that looks fucking. When it's not geometry, it looks fucking spooky as a real, <laughs> like as a real dragon. Also, I think the name Rayquaza is just awesome. Like, it's a great name. It's, a it's one of the name. more interesting Pokemon designs yeah. and names that hey, I've ever seen. Fucker, you want a Rayquaza, man? <laughs> Shit, man. I do. I would buy that. Would okay, we'll we'll find yeah. Walmart. Yo, let's see. What up, boys? Let's get hype. Lil Scoop C. Ill. Sorry, not Lil. Ill Scoop Steve. Yo, what's up, <laughs> JJ? It's only thirty five. Oh, nope, thirty five dollars. So you can either have the mini fridge or you can have the Rayquaza. <laughs> Rayquaza. <laughs> All right. No, there's a there's a there's a mini fridge on sale. Actually, you know what? I can get free shipping if I get you the Rayquaza as well. <laughs> Donate thirty five dollars so that we can Don't get wait, JJ Daddy, the Pokemon. <laughs> that, is, that is what that Pokemon is, yeah. Uh, so yes, give us thirty five dollars so we can get JJ Rayquaza today because we're buying an Xbox mini fridge because they want it and the guys never ask me for anything and I've bought. Are you talking about the Xbox One cooler fridge or whatever? Yeah, <laughs> that thing is not really a freezer, by the way. It's if on you guys clearance. Are because Jeff has one, and that thing cannot keep things cold to save its fucking uh, life. Well, then fuck it. I'll just buy the Sonic. Because it's designed, it's designed to chill. Like So things have to already be cold when you put it in there, and it just keeps it colder longer. Oh, well, see, oh, like, no, no, no. Then that'd be fine. Look, the, the Shiner over there is cold. Okay, then that would work for right. that. Right. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. Also, it, also it tells you not to keep it on for long periods of time, if I remember correctly on there. Because it can get moldy. <laughs> is what it says on the instructions, if I remember correctly. Uh, it's weird as shit. There's a reason for, they didn't sell very well. Thanks for complimenting all the beards. Oh, we'll tell you how we got these in a few short moments uh but no look at we can either get the 150 dollar one which is like a real fridge or this is the one that they want dude that's Just, the one jeff has is that one is the small one yeah yeah it, it holds eight cans that was my caveat yeah. or my problem with it was that it holds eight cans but yeah that's, that's that's the one i'm thinking of i didn't i forgot about the, the more expensive so one. this one like doesn't hold cold it can't be plugged in for long yeah it's, it's kind of stupid instructions are like don't fucking use this as a fridge is what it says <laughs> <laughs> the fuck it will burn out and don't it also use this gets as mold a fridge. also don't use this as an xbox <laughs> yeah that's actually the other thing don't use it as an xbox this is the end well, of the warning on it well let's look at i'm surprised you poor did. it melted the first time <laughs> <laughs> scam artist. This person, he's the biggest scam artist using returned items Can to I people. change my number three to this fridge? <laughs> it is a monster, yes. They're not, not great. Not worth it. Does not cool and is leaking water. <laughs> yeah, it's not great. Uh, looks great. Works like garbage. Only worked for a week. Stopped working in three months. Not the original. You can buy at Target. Don't buy this crap. Return disappointed. Absolute trash. Terrible to know better than a regular cooler. Why would it want to be? Uh, to small. Not too small. To small. No bueno. So, JJ, yeah, I think all your dreams are dashed. You can still get uh, one. I the Rayquaza. Rayquaza it is. <laughs> and that's your number three. Rayquaza. And that brings us to the, the way that we get our beards nice and fancy and fresh. After this break. Break. Hey, folks. Somebody in the chat. Uh, uh, it's actually, you know what? I'm going to give you a little shout out. Il Scuba Steve. By the way, y'all have amazing beards. Oh, that's you guys. Y'all have amazing beards. Yeah. Yeah, we do. And here's the thing. I've been moving. I've been all over the place. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this right here. Unacceptable. This right here, unacceptable. I'm letting it all grow out. I'm letting it all grow out. It's been like over a week since I've shaved. But you know what, folks? You know that I hold myself to a fine, high standard when it comes to... To my face, my body, hair, body's all right, hair, and my balls. And you know, because I don't know why I'm doing R&B voice. I'm very tired. I'm, I'm losing steam here. But you know I keep a high, uh, a high expectation for all of those things, and that's why I use Manscaped. Manscaped.com. 
If you go to manscaped.com and use coupon code MEX20 for 20% off and free shipping, you too can have a beard like us if you kind of have a beard like us, but also want to maintain it in the highest and best quality. Because here's the thing, folks. The fine folks at Manscaped have been friends with us for a while now. They are our first sponsor, and they are very nice to us and kind to us. And they gifted me a while back ago. The Beard Hedger Pro Kit. Now, I've talked up and down, left and right, about the Beard Hedger Pro Kit and how it's so wonderful and awesome and the best. And that is absolutely true because I use it when I'm not all stressed out, when I'm not all running around doing crazy things. I have this in my bag when I travel everywhere I go just to give my face a little touch up, give the beard a little trim, make it nice and even, trim all this stuff, give my head a pre-shave before I shave it. It's the best. I love it. And it also comes with the AC adapter, USB-C cable, beard shampoo, beard conditioner, beard oil, beard balm, travel bag, and the beard accessory pack with a beard brush, beard combo, and beard scissors. And that's how I'm able to, even when it's growing all crazy and when I'm not keeping it, it still keeps its shape and its form because Manscaped products not only last a long time. I think I've only charged it like once or twice the entirety I've had it because I'm able to knock it out and it's got a long battery life. Um, but... I do love these products. I use the underwear everywhere I go. I also have a good time with the body shaver, the titular right there on the bottom. Where'd it go? Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra. It's out of this world with two adjustable heads. It's so great. So be sure to use coupon code MEX20 for 20% off and free shipping. That's right. Coupon code MEX20 is 20% off and free shipping. Your balls, your face, and I will thank you when you use it. Thank you. Hey folks, we have sex here at the Mexlins. We're not we're not lying to you here, folks. I don't know why I sound like Joe Biden. That's not a lie, folks. We have sex. And here's the thing. We I was gonna say the titular title, but you already see it on the bottom. And we use joy mode when we have sex. That's right. Look at that. New website. We got a new look right here for the sexual performance booster. You know what it is, folks? I've been telling you up and down since we've gotten the sponsorship from Joy Mode. Fine folks, Joy Mode. I've already used the packs. I got to request some more because I am needing that nice virile energy that it was giving me in my body all over. Because look at when you get the sexual performance booster, it's not just for sex. Yeah, makes sex pretty, pretty great. Pretty great when you're on it. You, you, you got to make sure you got a little extra time. So make sure make sure when you take it 45 minutes before you get the little sachet, you put it in the water and your beverage, you drink it. About 45 minutes before you're, you know, you're, you know, you know, when things are about to get warmer, you're going to be in the thing or you need to do a thing with permission, of course. And then it starts going. You're like, oh man, I feel, I feel wonderful. And that's because the sexual performance booster supports a healthy blood flow, erection quality, and firmness, stamina, and performance. It contains science supported doses of L citrulline, arginine, nitrate, ginseng, and vitamin C. Take it before sex for a boost. Take it as daily to support cardiovascular health, athletic performance in and out of the gym, and healthy blood pressure and erectile function. Now, the excellence, you know, we don't have that here. But there's some people out there, you know, nothing to be ashamed of. So, you know what? So, you know, you can't go 115% every time. You, you lose a little steam after a while. Got, got things to do. Yeah, people to do. Things to see. You got, you got taxes. And you don't want to go and be like, oh, I need an L extra bump. I'm going to go get those sketchy gas station nonsenses. No, you don't want that. You want a product that is natural. You want a product that makes you feel good. And you want a product that's 20% off using coupon code MEX20 for 20% off at usejoymo.com forward slash MEX20 and get yourself the sexual performance booster. It's nice. It makes you feel good. And I probably wouldn't have been able to move all the stuff I did if I didn't have like one or two left just in the back uh, in the back pocket. So uh, be sure when you need that extra boost, use a sexual performance booster at Joy Mode. Use joymode.com forward slash MEX20. Do it. Thank you. Bye. Marcos, grab your phone. I'm looking at, I'm revising my list. Oh my God. Well, there's only <laughs> two more to pick from. I know, We're in the a, final countdown. I have a list of like nine. I really do love <laughs> monsters. <laughs> yeah, I had a lot more, but that, that's the top two had to be this, these specific ones. Well, so my number one has like its head and shoulders above everything else for sure. Well, we'll definitely go into the honorable mentiones, but for now, 
Spider Mike, what is your number two? So number two, um, I'm going to quote Ray on this one. I couldn't help it. It just popped in there. It's the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. God damn it, that's one of my honorable mentions. Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Not because I like the movie a lot. As a matter of fact, as a kid, didn't watch the movie really until I was like an adult adult. Mm-hmm. But there was sometimes the cartoon and my myself and my grandma had a big old plushie of the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. The Stay Puff Marshmallow Man is so iconic yeah. because he's fluffy as hell. But he's also kind of horrifying in the fact that he's this giant fucking cartoon mascot that's just walking the face that he makes when he gets lasered is actually kind of yeah when he gets more (laughs) angry (laughs) yeah when he gets more angry it's that's but that much more horrifying to look and he's just covered in burns and shit and then there's certain versions of him that like can make tiny marshmallow minions oh yeah that's like the new one where i'm like i don't know what that's about when they did it for the game and then um yeah goes to the grizzarians Destructor form and stay puff marshmallow man. Oh my god, I'm trying to like I'm trying to find the one from the movie, but you're you're better off looking on YouTube like for that fight. Scene, oh, but man. I need to get you this candle, <laughs> stay puff candle. <laughs> Just melt his head off. No, no, no. It was down here. So like someone made like a rendition of it, and that looks even more terrifying. We're gonna oh, think we're going about this all wrong. He's a sailor. He's in New York. We get this guy laid. We won't have any trouble. <laughs> I think about that quote all the time because it cracks me up every fucking time I think about it. <laughs> He's a sailor in New York. Oh man! So like, imagine the Kool Aid Man being that big, but like yeah. not made of goo. But he's actually oh, just yeah. glass, right? <laughs> like that would be so terrifying. And it's like, oh, we gotta get his juices out. Hold on, Marcus. You're like halfway out the frame. I feel like it would be easier to stop though, because you just got to break the bottom of them. Yeah. Whereas the staple of marshmallow man just no, but it's solid horrifying. glass. Unless you get yeah. like a um, what was it? The Prince Al Prince Al Prince Albert is uh, it Prince Rupert Rupert's Rupert. drop. Oh. drop. Yeah. <laughs> Prince yeah, Albert's drop. drop is his penis. You got to kick him in the dick. Um, you just got to push him over, basically. Hold on, I'm trying to find he the laser beam. Oh, when he explodes yeah. or which there part? he is. Oh, the face that he's making in the back when he's looking at him, overlooking the. Face. <laughs> That's fucking yeah, terrifying. Yeah, the sounds he makes, too, is also really like, nah. Stay Puft is fucking awesome, dude. And then everybody's color- covered in marshmallows, and the world is saved by the ghost. I, I should have goddamn knew the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man was going to be on your list. He absolutely was going to be on your list. Between Laser Kong, Kryptonite Laser Kong, and this. It was, uh, hold on. Yeah, I did not know who Titano was. Titano's great. <laughs> <laughs> and then you also threw in Monster Rock. So yeah, you threw in your three favorite properties, Ghostbusters, Spider-Man, and goddamn Superman. Yeah, exactly. Fuck. And number one's going to be a fun one. Fuck, I don't even... I, those are your top three, unless you count Dragon Ball. But we I don't won't. have I don't have one from Dragon Ball. Okay, well I don't know what your other top property is. Just a dinosaur. Like there's not too many. It would be I, monkey got I, monkey Goku. Well, so you'd have a second I, monkey. I <laughs> wish, yeah, either Azura or yeah. If if I would have added one, it would have been either yeah the Azura or um or Shenron himself. Oh. Omega Shenron is light years big. Yeah. Are you talking about the giant the giant gold one? Gold one, yeah. Oh. Is that I forgot the name of it. It's is it. This, it's, oh, the, the Mega Shinron. it's the Super Dragon Balls, but I don't remember the name of the fucking Shenron. It, is it just Super Shenron? Because if so, that's a dumb name. Well, Sin Shenron is this guy. Yeah, that's Omega Shenron. Oh, okay. Well, oh, well then, Golden. You look at Golden Shenron. Yeah, look up the Super Dragon Balls Shenron. That's that's where yeah, that, that's it. Because oh, they're, the pla- they're the planets. Oh, his name is just Super Shenron. Apparently, you got Winglings. That's crazy. Yeah, he can make any wish happen, but you have to know how they speak. It's a weird ass language. <laughs> also, you speaking have, the language you have, of the gods. <laughs> Wait, you could to, you could you get the lower dragon Shinron to teach you the language of the gods and then do that one? And then probably, but you'd have to find both that and then giant planet-sized and, Dragon Balls. And um, mm. the Super Shinron's Dragon Balls are not in one universe. No, oh. they can be in different universes. Yeah, I kind of want this. Yeah. I want this one, and I want the Jade one. Look at that. That's so cool. Oh, that's pretty cool. And, and then there's Perunga. Perunga would have been another one. Yeah. Who the fuck is Perunga? He's the, he's the, the, he's the Namekian dragon. Yeah. The one that, oh, the one with the, uh, torso? the big buff yeah. one. Yeah, the one that <laughs> lives. The one that lives. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kind of looks like a battle toad to me. <laughs> it does. But yeah, well, he's a fun one. Marcos, that brings us. And then there's here. the GT one. Oh my god! One. We have honorable mentions later, Mike. <laughs> Sorry. Honorable mentions later, later, Mike. No. Yeah. Goddamn GT one, Marcos. You're number two. Well, now it's a battle. Now I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, so number two is actually the smallest monster on my list, but it does get bigger. The weeest. <laughs> I was about to say, oh, the weeest. I thought you were going to say it was your dick, and I, I don't know why that was my first thought. Yeah. I thought so too. Because when you said the weeest, I thought you said the. We- I heard the weeest, but then I heard the wiener. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, oh, it's the blob. Oh, yeah, that's a really good one, yeah. The, which one, the classic or the 1988. 80s? The 80s yes, one. Yes, this, that's why. That picture the right one. there. Yeah. <laughs> when, you see, uh, when you see that video of the dude slowly dying and dissolving, I was like, 
I don't want. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't want to the... do this anymore, guys. <laughs> it's when it's over the the phone booth that really fucks me up. Yeah. See, that's the, this is a movie that once again I do actually want to see because the concept it's... of it makes me spooked out. That movie's fucked up. It's yeah. a movie as old as I am. Because like, just think about it. It's like everywhere there's crevices, and now that like houses are built like shit. Imagine if you had a cyber truck and all those holes in the <laughs> goddamn like doors and everything. The goo would get you so easily. I would laugh so hard if that was the part of the movie, and they're just like, "Yeah, he was dead before the blob even got him." <laughs> <laughs> oh man, dude. So like, what is the blob of an alien? Is it because I have not seen it? Is it like acid or melty? It's or like fire? melty. It's like yeah. de- it like it it basically dissolves. Whenever it, it goes over it's you, like the D D gelatinous cube. Yes, oh. it's like that, but it. Just I like how grows. you went an even deeper reference that I would not understand. <laughs> also, it's like it's it's like you stomach acid, basically. <laughs> yeah, but it's it, like right at the beginning too. It was very. It's basically slow. It's burning. basically a gelatin stomach acid. So like the oh. second you're inside of it, you dissolve because it's like slowly getting the nutrients off of you. Oh my god! Which is the reason why everybody melts when yeah. it. Fuck that. It's a really fucked up movie. It's also one of the few movies where a kid dies. Mm. <laughs> Solid. Well, this this is the blob from the X-Men getting shot yeah. in the heart. Which but is- nobody can stop the blob. Nothing moves the blob. Yeah. Except for Coco. Except for when you optic blast his ass the second he shows up. <laughs> from I the do pu- that every time when he pops up in the arcade one. He's like, nothing can... <laughs> from the punch dimension. People are learning about the punch dimension. Yes, are the you punch excited? Dimension. Dude, I love that Cyclops is getting his due, man. <laughs> the fucking... Hold on. The punch dimension. A lot of people don't know about the punch dimension. It's where punches from the punch dimension, the punch yeah. Dimension. Oh, my God. Uh, man, there was a lot of memes about the punch dimension. My there, favorite is that one. That one. That's my favorite <laughs> one. Punches, punches from the punch, punch dimension. Because people think his stuff is heat, but it's not. They're concussive. Right. So they just hit you really Which hard. means that he can stop himself from flying, but his neck's got to be super fucking strong to do that. They have Whatever. some weird explanations for all that shit over here. Whatever. Years, yeah. But I love Cyclops is my favorite X-Men, hands down. There you People go. People are weirded out by that, but they're not anymore. Thank fucking Christ for that. 97. I, I have a fun, like... Not to interrupt the monster podcast question. Uh, guess Sam's favorite X Men. Because <laughs> I was wrong. I thought he was, it was very Cyclops. wrong. He thought it was Cyclops, and I'm like, I'm not a dork. That's right. I said it. <laughs> I'm looking right at you as you just admitted that. I've always, I've always admitted I'm a dork. That's the thing. Okay, you're fair. That's good. Um, I think it's funny that you say that when. Is it Beast? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> JJ. I was, yeah, it's Beast. He was yeah. there. <laughs> no, Beast makes sense. Yeah. Beast makes sense. Mm. Why, why does it make sense? Like, why does it make sense, motherfucker? He's a big fun beast. guy. <laughs> <laughs> he's a big fun guy. There yeah, you go. He's a fun guy, except for like comic Beast, because that dude's a war criminal. Well, that's the thing. <laughs> so that's the thing. Last I checked, Beast, I go, okay. I uh, I had like the ultimate um like. It was like a like an encyclopedia like that was a Target for like ten bucks or uh-huh. two bucks or whatever. It was like really small and thin, and it had all the character bios. And it was like Beast was super fucking smart, was a regular dude, had big hands and feet, and everyone made fun of him because he was a big ogreish guy. He was very smart. Huh, I wonder. And then he was good at football because he was like a big fucking yeah. monster beast. And then they were like, oh. Uh, we're gonna make fun of him anyway. We call him a gorilla gorilla because it's the fifties. Fuck this guy. And so he's like, man, fuck. It. I hate, I hate these hands and these feet. I want to be normal. And so he does all the things and he stabs himself and then he becomes Blue Cat Man. And everyone's like, oh man, you fucking freak. And he's like, well, I can't change it back. Oh well. As opposed to fucking um, Days of Future Past. No, what's the other one? First Class. Oh yeah. First Class Nicholas Holt. My feet are big. Yeah, my feet are big now. Fuck you, you stupid handsome prick. Anyway. Um, <laughs> Oh, my feet are big. Nobody loves me. You can hide them in shoes. Shut the fuck up. Beast is a great character, though. Drums, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and they're fucking cool. Nobody's gonna be like, you just put the shoes on, you stupid asshole. I hated that fucking beast. I and and even the original beast was okay. Kelsey Grammer, okay. He was just like an he old man to one, me. Yeah. He was cool, but he's an old man. Whatever. Point is, he does the goo, and then like that's where I left off. And now they're like, oh yeah. Beast is doing experiments on mutants and is like fucking with reality and time space. Yeah, he's straight up a war criminal now. Right, Last I and even like yeah. Thanos is like, dude, Beast, calm the fuck down. Dude. There's a, there's this doing? great panel from from that I found that somebody sent me because they asked me well, what's Beast up to, and it's the Witcher being like, you fucking disgust me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like he's just like, oh yeah, I'm a disp- <laughs> descent into villainy where they're just trying to be like, okay, can we bring back the old Beast? I'm yeah, he has like an army of like Wolverine clones that are just like dumb, so he can make them just kill things. Well, look at now he's got a council of beasts. Yeah, the council of beasts. Jesus Christ. Yeah, once he became like a weird cat monkey thing, I was like, no thanks. Yeah, he's gone nuts. I, although they're trying to like reboot him again. 
soon so oh, does he get die because they they made a clone version of him that from before he went to shit right it's a clone yeah. version of him from the 90s where he's yeah. like hello chaps how you yeah, doing buddy he, like, he looks like the 90s cartoon one <laughs> like and he's still like super happy and like saying stars and garters yeah it's it's he genocided a nation yeah. <laughs> that's he's not the up. term but i think that works he willingly used a virus strain he himself said it was too dangerous to leave in the wild to turn a villain into a vegetable so X-Force wouldn't have to kill him because said villain was the son of the soon genocided country's president and they wanted him to be indebted to Krakoa, which is the X-Men mutant land. Um, the virus went wild and genocided the country as well, arguably foreseeable and again, completely unnecessary, which really doesn't make him responsible, even if it was technically an accident. It's probably a ton of other morally questionable stuff, some of which likely qualifies as war crimes, but that's the big one and I've stopped reading X-Force so I won't know much about the rest. So, yeah. Nightcrawler is doing great. Last time I heard he was sleeping with Silver Sable. There you go. Well, he was pretending to be a Spider-Man Night- for a little bit. Nightcrawler was my number two. Nightcrawler's great. Gam is my number two because he's Cajun and can make make not things into laser beams. We'll, we'll that's, see if that's true after he gets red pilled. I don't care. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, that's true. He's, before he becomes bisexual. Gam, I don't care if he's bisexual. Gamut's married to Rogue nowadays, so he's doing fine. No, but oh, in the yeah. comic or in the new '97, I don't know. I haven't seen it yet, but he's just wearing a crop top. In the no, no, no. Have uh, you seen the '97? Oh. I, I also He's think that. By Magnum. Oh, you're talking about the Magneto thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a whole other thing. <laughs> that, that, but that happened in the comics. Too, so that thing's like very much based on the comics. Magneto's all that stuff. Magnum. I just if you thought will. it was funny that the show was like, oh, like it is yeah, funny man. that they're still doing those parts. But like, because people are like, this is weird now. Like back then, it probably wasn't to you guys. But why are you adapting this part? <laughs> <laughs> and also, Magneto has a giant M on his chest. You're like, hey, you could have changed his design. It's the '90s. Everything that's why is I call true. Him Magnum. Magnum. Yeah. Wiener Nita. Um, he dropped his magnum condom for his magnum dog. <laughs> Come my monster dog. <laughs> uh, no, all I was going to say about... Uh, I forgot yeah, what about, your number two was. Uh, it's just like everybody, <laughs> almost everybody in the new reboot is kind of gayish. And I'm like, Gabe, yeah, not so much. He's cure, clearly pining for a woman. And you've got Wolverine. Wolverine is being openly gay with Morph. <laughs> That's fair. He, oh, was, he was always like that, to be honest. <laughs> he was always like, what happened to Morph? Yeah, it's like Wolverine gets my a little... little buddy. One of the episodes... <laughs> my little buddy. One of the, mild, mild spoiler. I don't know why Wolverine is a little bit sad. I just, me and JJ were goofing on it the way we were goofing out, uh, on Roadhouse. And then he just flirts with Morph to end the episode. And I'm like, oh, hmm. go get him, buddy. Well, in one <laughs> universe, he's just full-on making out with Hercules. So. No, Wolverine is very gay. Yeah. Wolverine has been around for hundreds of years. He's going to fuck whatever at this point. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I guess he kills him Cyclops at one point. No idea what's happening there. But, hey. <laughs> And they were like, Jean yeah. Grey is in the way. Let's just <laughs> cut out the middleman. Kiss That's the what they should body. be doing. <laughs> That's what is, I'm is saying. It? Another 15 people who banged Wolverine. I don't know. Does Wolverine get banged or does he do the banging? I don't know. He's Depends. a short little guy, so it varies. Yeah, he's Canadian too. Yeah. Short little Canadian man. <laughs> no, that doesn't mean anything. I just said it. Uh, what was your number two? It was the blob. It was the blob. Melting <laughs> people is very bad. And That's then it right. becomes like a city level threat. Wait, who the fuck is this guy? Sorry, I got a question. Who the fuck is this guy? Oh, he he sent me a message on March 23rd and then at 9.55. No, I'm not going to sell you those pieces, even though, like, I... Anyone want to buy my old action figures? Anyway. What was I'm, my list? Number two. Oh, yeah, my number two. My number two is I'm not sure if this is a real monster, because I'm once curious. again, once again, it might be more spirit is than... humanity? <laughs> <laughs> it turns it out it's man. It's the, <laughs> the concept of humanity is my number two. It's crumb. It's, <laughs> uh, it's uh, no, no, no. It's the it's the terror, and Marcos can see over my shoulder. But it's the terror. I can't spell for shit today. Is the terror of all liquid areas to Mexicans? My number two is La Llorona. Oh, okay. Because it's a ghost. Technically, it's a ghost spirit, but can kidnap children and drown them. That's a tricky, which one. is a physical thing. Yeah, but is mostly a ghost. I'm, but and, and an un- I don't know if it's an undead monster or if it's a ghost or it's, spirit. It's, oh, see, this goes into it. I'd put this in a different box. It's a Did tricky we, one, but yeah. there is there is a one monster from Old Mix and Folklore I would have picked, but that, uh, we'll, we'll talk about in the art, uh, the modern. <laughs> I don't remember its name is the problem, but I can describe it. What is it? It's the giant bird that has no feet. Lechusa. Lechusa, yeah. yeah. Lechusa. See, Lechusas are real because they're owl things and like, you know, La Llorona can drown children, but can ghosts drown children? Well, I was told recently that ghosts can peg you, so I... Assume- Wait, what? <laughs> who told you this? I'm curious as to where this came from. Let's not worry about the who and the... <laughs> I'm worried about it. 
I watch quiet on set. I don't want to. That's I'm not more, your problem to deal with. I'm more That's worried about what like. I'm worried about. <laughs> no, no. Oh my god. Well, if that so if that doesn't count. Um, but I, but you know the, the terror of all fucking rivers. It's a lady whose husband left her at the altar um, and had kids with already premarital. <sighs> And she was like, fuck this. I'm going to kill these children. And she drowns her fucking kids in the river or the water or the fountain or whatever. The body of water is the story. And then she comes out of her fucking monstrosity and is like, what have I done? Where are my children? And then she just fucking goes. And the thing is. Okay, so that's the version you know then. Which is the version you know. The version I know is that she kills them to try to get back with the guy. Because Uh, he doesn't want to be with her because of the kids. She's like, I'll kill the kids for you. And then he's like, well, I don't want to be with you either way then. And then she's like, then she's like, oh, what have I done? Oh, <laughs> I, yeah, either way, she just makes terrible decisions. Yeah. I already Very, told them I thought you'd say yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. That's pretty much what happens, yes. Yeah, that's the version I... I that's the one I know, yeah. Yeah, and so, yeah. That's what I was told uh, to, to get away from her, yes. Right, but like... <laughs> But that's the idea. She fucking drowned. Like, imagine drowning children. Like, that's fucked up. That's super fucked up. Super fucked up as like a like a monstrous thing to do. And the very by definition, a monstrous thing to and do. And then Hollywood was like, "What if we made a movie about that involving white people?" Right, <laughs> right. And 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 not make a billion dollars having it be Mexicans. Yeah. And the only one that kind of did it. No, not kind of did it. Like, you know that Mexicans in horror was that one. Uh, that one paranormal, paranormal activity. activity yeah. In Oxnard. Yeah. yeah. You and know, you Cargill talking. has the Yorona in, in his second book, right? Does he really? Yeah, the protagonists of his like fairy people fight the Yorona. Oh. And it's kind of funny because it's written as like, oh, the Yorona is drowning people at Lake Travis, and now we have a drowner Yorona at Lake Travis. Oh, that's, yeah, I didn't think about that. <laughs> <laughs> it turns out it was La Yorona this whole time. <laughs> that's why no one can catch it. Um, <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, shit. Hold they on. They don't have Pokeballs. They don't have. <laughs> uh, this also gets into a, like a cryptid conspiracy theory thing but i just read it on reddit and i thought it was hilarious the reason we can't find the loch ness monster is because it's the ghost of a dinosaur i actually have heard that before <laughs> yeah that's that's one of the theories i've heard recently i heard it from paul giamatti's podcast about things <laughs> sure yeah. oh loch ness monster honorable mention shout out to the loch yeah. to nessie baby shout out that to definitely would be yeah, one of my Wait, big paul giamatti has a podcast yeah it's called the chinwag he talks about like like either like weird mystic shit or just like shoots the shit with celebrities. It's fantastic. I, Marcus, I that's recommend. why we're not popular. I like both these things. I highly what? recommend it. <laughs> why didn't I know about? I really this? like Paul G. I Mark. found it on accident, and it's amazing. I highly no. recommend it. Marcos, that's why we're not popular because we're fighting against Paul Giamatti's monster talk. We can't beat that anyway. Uh, but no, if, if La Llorona doesn't count though, um, my my on, an honorable mention of mine I'll is it, but. well, but an honorable mention just in case, since there's people out there doubting. Uh, no one's gonna pick this one. Um, Power Rangers, <laughs> fucking Goldar. I fucking Goldar love Goldar. That's a great actor. Simply for his voice, and simply before because he was one of the ones where it was like, oh. Um, Maggie says there's a Batwoman comic where she fights Lana Del Rey. That's amazing. Sure. How did I not know this was a thing? <laughs> I like Goldar, though, because he was one of the first ones where, you know, the monsters of the week, they would get big and they just, they, they, they were, it was the same costume, but just in the And they would just set. die every time. But Goldar never died. He yeah. fucking scrapped and came back. And also, I just like the design, just armor lion winged thingy. He's a great design, and his voice is impossible to forget. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. Like, my rangers, I'm going to kill your mother, <laughs> the ace of spades. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> it's just let me in my now head. I want to fucking see Goldar singing the ace of spades. <laughs> it's just the ace of spades. It really is. If you like to gamble, I tell you that is it. <laughs> I love that so much. I never would have considered that. And my voice is God. JJ, you're number two. It's a cough. (coughs) But not number two is Yala Yoda and Goldar. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, my queen. (laughs) (laughs) Yala Yoda is running with Goldar. Hell yeah. I'd watch that. I was trying to see if Goldar gets a human form. I guess he doesn't. I I don't know. I don't remember how that step. He gets a big space. He gets a stupid fucking molten magma one of the new. That's right. That's the dumb movie. Yeah. 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 Actually, I kind of like that movie, except for the effects. The a lot of people actually like that movie. Dunkin' yeah. Donut plugs. I yeah. like the character work and everything, but like, just just make them look like the old ones. <laughs> right. Also, just real quick, just real quick, uh, Telling Tree's trying to scare me, and yeah, you fucking did, because I said I'm afraid of analog horror. Sonic oh, EXE. Sonic. Sonic EXE. Fuck that. I hate looking at that. I'm scared of it, and it's gone from my computer now. I was laughing because I saw people being like making fun of those specific 
like what, what were they called? Creepy pastas. Yeah. And they're like kid sees Mario with realistic blood and be like, that's horrifying. And I'd be like, what the fuck? That's kind of neat. <laughs> yeah. No. No. Is this the new Smash? Yeah. <laughs> No, uh, our buddy Key is into analog horror, and he keeps showing me like Mario sixty four creepies. Oh, okay, and I'm just like, fuck that noise. Hold on, Mario. There's that Godzilla story <laughs> one where it just falls apart at the end. Yeah, yeah. Really oh, yeah, I saw that pasta until the end. That's of the it. first creepy pasta I ever saw. Yeah, yeah. This like ending it, sucks. Yeah, this, this is the one that Key, my buddy Key, showed me. Our editor. The piano. And then you just like skip ahead. Oh, this one. I know what this one is. Yeah, it's see like that shit. Fuck that. <laughs> oh man, I have the perfect video game series for you to play in October. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and like whatever the fuck the, the it's a baby. Fuck that. Anyway, JJ, you're number two. My number two wouldn't be a JJ list without anime. And in the what early two thousands. Adult Swim started showing this anime that they really shouldn't have shown because they had to edit the fuck out of it. Oh, oh I think I know which one you're talking about. <laughs> the premise of it is guy gets future cancer, so they freeze him, and they're like, in the future, we will have a cure for your super cancer, your super future cancer. He gets unfrozen, finds out the world's been totally obliterated by giant bugs. Futurama. <laughs> Blue gender. Blue gender, yeah. Blue gender. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I figured that was the answer. That one is fucking insane. Yeah. And you're talking about the bugs? Yeah. Which the one? Blue. All of them. Oh, shit. <laughs> They're all the blue. Oh, I, no. I don't know. I can't explain the title of it. I don't know what where the gender comes from, but I the forgot blue why it's is totally that. because of the bugs. They call them blue. <laughs> they make you sad. Yeah. <laughs> they, make you, they make you sad? It was one of the first animes where I that I watched where I was like, ah, they'll be fine. Like they just they just rescued these people from like all the the, the, the giant bugs. Right. So there's no way anything bad will ever happen. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh no! no. <laughs> yeah, there's a few of those shows that was an Adult Swim that you're like, how the fuck did this happen? Yeah. Like that and what? Wolf's Rain was the other one Wolf's Rain that had that bunny one. sequence yeah. that everyone always talks about. Oh my god! Yeah, they're like galloping at you. Yeah, and you need fucking mechs. Yeah, to fight and them. Their mouths are very uh, oh, pussy-like shit. in nature. <laughs> <laughs> It's like an Arby sandwich, is what he said. Yeah. JJ, uh, this is the second pussy-like thing you've been scared of. No, no, the first yeah. one was buttholes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's an argument. There's an argument. It's both, apparently, yeah. Oh, my God. So JJ, JJ's just afraid of orifices. No, I'm afraid of the bugs. Orifices <laughs> and bugs, yeah. That seems to be the main thing. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Look, I don't know. I'm not a fucking biologist, right? Oh, shit, that guy got fucked up. But I'm pretty sure bugs ain't supposed to have pussies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm just watching this guy get fucking hammered in the face in the car. Yeah. Yikes! Fucking yikes. It's a great series, though. Blue what gender. What up, Elijah? There's a goddamn another gender woke! <laughs> woke nonsense. I'm kidding. <laughs> That's your number two. <laughs> yep. There's another gender, and it's sad. It's all <laughs> blue gender. Mike, we're doing honorable mentions or number one? Honorable oh, mentions. Guess, are we doing honorable mentions? We're doing honorable mentions. Uh, well, I, I brought this one up uh, mostly because he brought up the flood, which is the head crabs from Half Life Two. Yeah. Oh god damn. Because those it. things are god. fucking horrifying. Head crabs. Why can't I remember what the head crabs look like? Oh, there you go. Those little dudes. And Ooh. it's once they're on a person's head that where it really becomes fucked up. Because the sounds they make is so fucking horrifying. <sighs> and then when you find out what those sounds are, it's even worse. What is the sounds? <laughs> um, so it's it's them talking backwards. Mm. And so, but they're like pleading for you to kill them. Yeah. Because they're just like, they're people with these things on their heads. And they're fucking going, they're fucking crying, horrified. And they're just like, fucking kill me. Ooh. Well, that's just the crab itself. Brother, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, once Serenity it's on a person's head, second. though, yeah. What's that? What's that, brother? <laughs> I don't know if this has, like, when they're on them. Or not. God damn. They're fucking horrifying. Yeah. But yeah, once they're on a person's head, yeah, what they're saying is just Hold on, let me see if I, if it one of the scariest things I've ever dealt with in a game. 
No, that's just the crab itself. Yeah, Damn. you'd have to find it when it's on a person. That's an honorable mention for you. I already did Goldar. Do you have an honorable mention, JJ? Uh, I guess the Deadites. Ah, the goddamn Deadites from that's pretty good. Evil. No, Army well, of Darkness. Saying, someone mentioned it or, here. And now well, well the Deadites are dead? a tricky yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, they're the Evil Dead because there are sometimes they're people and sometimes they're not. And then there's the giant one at the end of Evil Dead Two. That one is horrifying. So spooky. Marcus, do you have an honorable mention? It's kind of complicated to mention, but it because it's... The it's concept a of mortality. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, this monster makes you immortal. Oh. Oh, is it the worms from fucking Blade of the Immortal? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, So there's a specific series that borrows from Lovecraft called... Uh, well, the one I'm thinking of specifically is The Endless. If you let the monster kill you... You, there's going to be no video of this monster anyway. Um, it's that's, that's what it, it, they think it looks like. Oh shit! It's basically like a giant dragon, but it's a Cthulhu type monster. Uh-huh. If you let it kill you, it, you live forever. If you don't let it kill you, you can leave. But there, it also may fuck with you sometimes. Huh. So there's a dude that has been trapped in this camp since the 1900s, and he lives five seconds over and over again. Oh god. Oh, so like Prometheus. Yes. Yeah. It's very like Lovecraftian horror. It's one of my favorite movies because it doesn't, it's not just like a big scary monster. And it literally is a big scary monster. It can, it's literally smart enough to fuck with you. I hate that. I hate that a lot. <laughs> That's fascinating. Yeah. Mike, hurry up and tell me you're number one because I'm too scared right now. Uh, he's a friend to you all to, things. You don't, you don't really have to hurry. And it's, um, it's one of my favorites because he's also similar to the way I had number five. It is Reptar <laughs> oh, from Rugrats. Reptar, Reptar, yeah. gotta find that Reptar. I always think, I always think of the you robot was one. A friend. I was like, oh, it's Godzuki. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I consider that, but no. Uh, no, it's it's one of my favorites growing up for years, because he was like he was like family-friendly Godzilla. <laughs> so you're like, I'm not picking Godzilla or King Kong, but I am going to pick my, direct clones of but them. Direct clones of them, but I oh, love... I am Reptar. Yeah, that's, oh, I always I think Reptar. of that specific quote whenever I think of Reptar, and I, I will randomly say it when I'm playing a game because it just cracks me up. God, it's, it's been so a long much time. Actually, say what the monkey said. Oh yeah, <laughs> Grog hungry. Yeah, Grog, Grog hungry. Grog hungry. And also, there was like a time machine in that Toy Story. <laughs> that Toy Story episode is fucking. It's crazy. I am Repta. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. I was trying to get you guys. 1776. Yeah, for some reason this toy store has a time machine. A working time, a working time machine. And it, <laughs> it's one of my favorite episodes because it's so batshit insane. It's so much fun. Why do we not have a $200 version of that? I figure? know, right? I would have been transforming Optimus, don't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah we have. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, so, so, uh, Nickelodeon, you've made about thirty thousand new fucking. TMNT toys. There's a there's literally a four hundred dollars set that I want right now that I'm not gonna get because it's four hundred dollars. Oh, okay. But you, you're telling me for three hundred you can't get me Thork and Reptar. I love it. I love it so much. You know what I wanted more than the toy though? Hmm. Was it the candy bar that changed your tongue green, or was it the cereal that turned your tongue it was green? The cereal. Yeah, I, think was, it was I both, thought actually. that was the candy. There might have been both, yeah. Both. But I remember the cereal specifically because of the episode. What? Oh, you can? I know that. Yeah. I do remember the cereal it. specifically because of the episode, though. What? I almost spelled the reptar without the T. No, without the P. No. <laughs> that was, so that would have been a different. Yeah. No, no, no. Halt, I am reading. No, don't you say that. Don't you say that. Hey. Don't you finish that sentence, hey, reptar. This is a Shane Gillis joke, all right? Hold on. Reptar. Tongue green. Let's see if I can find it real quick. I didn't quick. know Busta Rhymes is the voice of Reptar. I didn't know that either, but I, I don't remember the movie that well. Oh, uh, it's Reptar Bar specifically, though, what I was thinking about. Okay. Wow. Yeah, that was, yeah. Wow. Angelica was right. Yeah, it does turn her tongue green. Wait, Angelica? Now, listen. Oh, it's the milk green on that one. But I do remember the episodes. That's a cool fucking gimmick, though. I would love that. Putting <laughs> the mouth. I want that still to be a thing. Reptar! God, yeah. Hell yeah. But he was the best. Reptar on ice? Yeah, Reptar on what ice. What was the kid? <laughs> on the <laughs> on ice! The ice. <laughs> I also remember the little rep the Reptar Somebody vehicle from the movie. Yeah. Mom. <laughs> God damn, I love God, Rugrats was so good. 
God, not see. I have. I'm, it's hard to watch Rugrats now because you realize the parents are our age, yeah. and it's super fucking. Or weird. younger. <laughs> or younger, yeah. <laughs> And I you look at him, you're like, those are just my friends now. <laughs> right? Hold I, on. too, have made chocolate pudding at 4 a.m. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why are you making chocolate though? pudding at 4 a.m.? Because I've lost control of my life. <laughs> For the exact same reason. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> I have the wonder, wonder of life. life. <laughs> the fact that the mask's mouth moves freaks me out, though. So. <laughs> because it shouldn't be able to do that. Oh, Disney's got the technology. We, we could have movable masks. I guess, yeah. Sure. Um, yeah. We're all just grown children, that's right. Uh, top five annoying kids in cartoons, perhaps. But that's your number, number one. one. I don't know if there is Rip five annoying top five annoying kids. Well, just there kids are. who hate media. That, yeah. They can find that easily. Yeah, yeah but easily. they all have redemption in our nope. even Not Angelica. all of them do. Yeah. I hate Kevin McAllister. Fuck him. Period. Kind of Full dick, stop. Yeah. Fuck him all the way. Because I was, I was straight up thinking about the bullies and the Simpsons, and I'm like, they all kind of go through a different kind Not of... Really. Well, they're, still, they're still assholes at the end of the day, though. <sighs> well, Marcos, that brings us to your number one. So I, I was really nervous that one of you guys would take the, this, and it's my number one, because these are this is my favorite monster movie. It's super niche in the sense that like it has four sequels for no fucking reason, <laughs> and only like three of them are fun to watch. Um, but it also always gave me feels like I was like this... The added terror of like, yeah, bro, that looks like my backyard. Like that, yeah. they definitely live around here for sure. That's uh, exactly what it is. And it's uh, so the movie is called Tremors. The oh. monsters are called Graboids. That's a good one. Yeah. And you're gonna be sorry if you don't give it a name. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, bro, that's what Eagle Pass looks like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the dude, thing, yeah. Did you guys you... shoot that one kung fu movie out in here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, when you watch Tremors, yeah, when you, I, when, yeah, when I also watch Tremors, like, yeah, that looks like, yeah, <laughs> really, really close by. Oh, let me see. Wait, they're called the Graboids. Yeah, they're yeah, called the Graboids. Tremors. Uh, yeah, like, and also, whenever you show Tremors to someone, like, it, it's a fun watch. Everyone has it's a It's great. Up, yeah. yeah. And it has all these like small things going on it that you don't really realize about in the first one. And look how hot Kevin Bacon is then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's a, oh my yeah. god! It's so much fun. It's yeah. a shame they didn't pick up that Amazon one that he wanted to do. Yeah. Oh, that does look like fucking Eagle Pass. Oh god! <laughs> oh, that was not the movie. <laughs> it's all on 4K That's now, I think, last time I heard. Horrifying worms! Well, they're like prehistoric worms that were opened by drilling, which I guess would probably happen in Eagle Pass. <laughs> no, I was about to say, like, that is probably ripe for a remake. It's with, very with plausible. Flat, yeah. Yeah. yeah, fracking would be a great way to bring Graboids back into the mainstream. Oh, Reba McIntyre is in it. Oh, man, she's yeah. just a single mom who works two jobs. Nah, well, she's not even married in this well, one. It's the song. I mean, she's... It's, oh, sorry. It's the song. The best man. thing a lot of people forget is the guy who plays the guy who has all the guns Bert. was mostly... Like only known as a sitcom dad prior to this point <laughs> <laughs> for like what, for the Michael J. Fox show. I forgot what show that was, but uh, he was the dad in that show if I remember correctly. Yep, this looks like a Texas. Yeah. This looks like a Texas fucking. And warehouse. so he was known only as like America's dad, and then <laughs> and, and then from for Tremors on, he was known as the gun nut character. Oh my god, dude! And it's it's cool in, in this scene because I just remember he's going through all his guns. Yeah, yeah. Like he pulls up the machine gun. Nothing hurts it. And then, for some reason, he has a fucking elephant gun. Yeah. <laughs> That's in a glass case. It's also. so much fun. That, that is the just-in-case like, gun. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, well, he had a flare gun that just went in his mouth. Yeah, Reba hit it with the flare, not not him. That's such a, that's <laughs> such a fun movie, guys. If you've never seen Tremors, go watch Tremors. Jesus Christ. And yeah, it's got like a million fucking sequels. And he is in every single fucking one of yeah, those sequels. he's the one that... The family he's ties. the through line. Yeah, he's the only one. There's a one that takes place in the Old West, and he's still and in that fucking movie. <laughs> it's his ancestor. Well, and the the, oh. the the worms themselves, the effects look great. Oh, yeah. yeah. Practical puppet right there. Being real spooky with Reba McIntyre. Fuck yeah. Also, gremlins and critters. Well, we only have two more picks, me and JJ. And that's not my pick. That's not your number head. one. That sorry, would have been one of my honorable. Yeah. yeah, sorry. Tell honorable, no. mention. honorable mention. Honorable mention. I was picking kaiju. That, that's, I was looking for American type kaiju, and that's all I could come up with. And I'm like, oh. I really like Tremors. It was that or like Babe. The blue ox. <laughs> <laughs> I was, well, there was, well, there was one specific American monster, but I, that's that would have been. There's two ones that I can think of that Capitals. would have been my honorable honorable mentions. So. Capitals of the, yeah. the the darkest monster of all. Well, I'll, my, I'll wait for you guys to finish though. It's all right. Well, my number one. Uh, I'm gonna call in a favor here. Uh, he'll know the answer to this, and I just have to say a few words. Uh, here, I'm gonna put you on the speaker real quick. See if he answers. 
Let's see if he answers. I'm just going to say two words, and he's going to answer my number one. Let's see if he answers, if he's not jerking it or <laughs> taking the Browns to the Super Bowl. Hello? Hello? All right. Hey, hey, Giggs, you're on the air right now. I need your help with something. Okay. Summon him. Release the Kraken. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's all. <laughs> my number one. The Kraken. The OG nah. Kraken? Any Kraken. Oh, any Kraken? All, I mean, the, the, the gods one. Uh, what was it? The Clash of Gods? Clash of, Clash of, Clash Clash of, of Titans. Titans yeah. That one was okay because it was like, had, had like arms oh, and so stuff. Also the actual act, like giant. Like the mythological story, one, yeah. the one from the rum, yeah. or the one from Pirates of the Caribbean, Curse of the Black, or uh, Dead Man. Whatever. I don't remember which one. Is well, it. all it's of them. the second one, I think. The Kraken is so fucking cool. It's a great fucking as monster. a concept because one, it's not no, not the Seattle Kraken, fuck that. <laughs> well, first of all, you go into like Oh, Krakens are welcome. <laughs> I I went like I think it was this book in the library I had about like mystical creatures when I was a kid, and so I learned like the basilisk and the all the things in that, and then I got to this motherfucker, the Kraken. And I'm like well, that's plausible because we don't know what the fuck is in the deep blue sea. It's true. We didn't even know the, the giant squid was real for like years. Right. It right. was a myth just as much as the Kraken was. And so then they're like, you, so you got old timey seafarers going like, what the fuck is this thing? It took down the ship because it was so large and, it's, and giant squids are real. And my cousin's like, what the fuck was that about? Oh, he slapped. <laughs> um, and he's like, what the, f you know, what the fuck are these? And then you start getting into, you know, Cthulhu type ones. But then you get into like just, you know, every iteration of it is spooky sea monster can be, and especially Davy Jones, yeah. you know, summon him. And then they do the thing and they, poof, they hit the middle of the ocean and then the Kraken comes and then fuck shit up. That as a concept to me is so one terrifying, two awesome and three plausible. Uh, and that plausibility part is like, so Krakens can be trained. So <laughs> probably. <laughs> no, no, they can be summoned. That's the thing. You know, you go like Kraken and you just run away. Yeah, right. Like, and if we were at our apartment and I yelled out Zuzu. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. I was going to say like just a little bit of bad news about this as the conspiracy theorist that knows. Is this the, the stuff. okay, just go ahead. Okay. Um, Krakens never attack ships like that. They did see tentacles coming out of the water, and it was whale penises. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. <laughs> whales slap their penises on their tummies, and it's the way they masturbate, and they look like tentacles coming out. That is, yeah, that is the prevailing theory is that sea monsters are most likely giant whale dicks. How is that not as scary? <laughs> yeah. How is that not as scary as an actual octopus yeah. monster? Okay, fine. What do you want to fight? An octopus monster or a bunch of whales with their dicks out? You choose. You choose. It makes Moby Dick wait, very wait, awkward. Wait, how, how many whales we talk? At least eight, because that's how much is an octopus. Not fair. Well, that's what I'm saying. So either you got sea, sea facts with Marcos. Yeah, I, I remember when I, I heard that, I was like, a giant octopus at that. Exactly. It's one versus eight. Yeah, I remember when I heard that, I was like, what the actual fuck? But that's so plausible. That's 16 <laughs> heads I have to deal with. Uh, and I like the stupid. I like the <laughs> you got it. <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't want to. So up. I didn't want to. And I also like the stupid versions of the Kraken, which is like, it's a seal with little tentacles on his leg, his head. Captain Ahab wanted the D. <laughs> there, there she blows. The oh my God. There's so many honorable mentions. That man. is a white whale. That's a different thing. The whale. <laughs> oh fuck me uh, jesus christ oh my god but no the kraken is so fucking dope and then oh, the reason why that was a joke between me and my cousin was that the kraken rum before we would open uh, a thing of uh, rum you'd say so we would say we would call my cousin andy was the one that put us on to the kraken rum the first time so then he did it with him and then i do it to him so in order to crack it open i must call him and summon him, and then he'll say, release the Kraken, that's and amazing. therefore... So that's how he knew what to do. That's a fun... Immediately. That's, that's so, fun. so my number one, <laughs> the Kraken. JJ, your number one is not a Critters or a... No. Well, well just, other one. just before that, I just want to know, what's the American kaiju that isn't Babe and... <laughs> Tremors. Well, there's the Cloverfield. Babe is not a kaiju. There's, there's the Cloverfield monster. Oh yeah, that's that's an American one. And, and then the other one is kind of dumb because it's the giant baby from um, Honey I. I <laughs> love the kid. <laughs> the kid. Yeah. <laughs> well, Stay Puft technically. Oh yeah, and there's still well, Stay Puft. Yes, there's also Stay Puft, but I already mentioned him too. So yeah. American kaiju. 
JJ, you're number one. So my serious answer was the Xenomorph. Uh-huh. But I'm going to piggyback off of what uh, Spider Mike did here. <laughs> a giant baby? Okay. No. Whale penises. Whale penises. Exactly. Turns out it was whale penises. Well, yeah, Xenomorph was up there for me. I knew it was going to be picked or thought it was going to be picked. There's JJ's version. <laughs> Schoolgirl. It's the Xenomorph queen. Mm. Um, so I'm going to go with the Godzilla clone, silly Godzilla clone, from one of my favorite Cartoon Network series, Dexter's Lab. <gasps> Oh, extra! God damn, that's a really extra. good one. <laughs> that's a really good one. Oh shit! It's got a fucking axe for it. The fact that she, yes. the fact that you remember its name is my favorite part because I don't. Rem- I did not remember its name at all. Oh. I don't remember even having a name. <laughs> I didn't but know it, either. No, yeah. Extra. No. Yeah. What's it? Agent Honeydew says it, but I didn't like. I couldn't put it because it's extra. Like it's weird. It's so much fun. <laughs> but Holy but shit. I love the that it was such a crossover episode that you got like everyone in the yeah, Dexterverse got, to come out. You it's, got, the fucking the Justice Friends, yeah. <laughs> Monkey, <laughs> Sam, just need oh, the I, Honolulu Hotfoot. Hot <laughs> I, I think about that joke way more than I should. Is your is your head just revolving references? <laughs> kind of. Like I think about Reptar and the Honolulu Hotfoot. When I was when I worked at a movie theater, I had a friend literally tell me that he's like, "Your mind is just references. You can see something, and then just your first thing thought is another reference." I do not like your kick so high. I do not like, like it, Sam. R. I. God, what a great fucking, fucking but series. extra. Oh, he's a Gurian clone. Well, he's, he's, a, he's both, though, because he comes out of the volcano is the That's thing, because it's a Godzilla yeah. reference. Um, but yeah, man, I love that two-parter episode. <laughs> 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 it's one of the best episodes of Dexter, because holy shit. It's making him stronger. <laughs> <laughs> he likes it. <laughs> Shut off the ray, you fool. <laughs> it's so fucking great. <laughs> <No>! <laughs> <laughs> God, what a great fucking show! Yeah, the late nineties awesome. Cartoon Network had a decent amount of like that guy's probably dead. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of that. He shows up at the end. I know. I remember he shows up. But there's a lot of just like people like you're like that guy could be dead if they don't show him at the end of the episode. Oh, that's right. Mag, what's it? Magnumus? Ma- Mag. Oh yeah, that was, one. Yeah. yeah, I forgot about that Jesus one. Jesus Christ! <laughs> There's a lot of great fun like kaiju jokes and in, in, in cartoons around. I like the fucking Apache chief knockoff that they had on. <laughs> <laughs> the Justice Friends. Oh. His name was Capital G. Capital That's right! <laughs> Capital G. Um, living law. <laughs> so he's got bigger. Stand back. Because <laughs> when I reach my maximum size, I'll be living law. Capital G. D- and he wasn't That's... that tall, if I remember no, correctly. No, the just like flicks, <laughs> just flicks him. <laughs> he literally flicks him. Yeah. It's so fucking funny. Capital G. I remember That's Capital G. Oh, no, see, there that's it is. Not it. Oh, that's the wrath. Nope. Oh, what a great fucking. Oh, yeah, that's when he gets his ass beat by fucking. The Constitution of America. Of America? Who should? Of America. Here's my John Hancock. God, what a great! <laughs> that's such a fantastic episode. God. And that's also that's a, that entire episode is is based on a Marvel comic. Oh, the battle shit. world or what? Yeah, it's based on. It's like a, it's the same plot. Like a, some guy brings up a bunch of, um, of heroes. heroes and like challenges them to a fight, and like he beats up everybody, and it ends the same way. Except instead of monkey, it's the thing. All right, yeah. it's a great it's a great story. Okay. Time yeah, to I'll get to drunk and watch Dexter's Lab. <laughs> Such a great fucking show, guys. Well, that, also, oh, good. Can we close out the episode with Dexter's family theme song? <laughs> <laughs> Which one was that one? It's, it's in from that episode. that episode. Yeah, go Dexter's, Dexter's family. family. Go. <laughs> Be honest, looking over Sam's shoulder, it's hard to find these. Dexter's yeah, well, it's, yeah, it's there. Go it's Dexter's Dexter. family. Go. Well, here, we'll actually we forgot to tell the people. Oh shit, I didn't. Pull also, it up. Powerpuff Girls is full of some amazing kaiju. Yeah. kaiju oh yeah, ones. That being said, folks, that's been our top five. I forgot to tell you guys to do this at the top of the show, but be sure to join our Patreon. Uh, we just posted an Oh, don't look at how much we make. Um, wait, what? We, we're making less now? Who fucking unsubscribed? God damn it. <laughs> anyway, thank you for subscribing. Uh, the most recent episode is uh, me and Ian. We talk about celebrity crushes, and most of the time we're talking about our time at Double Toasted. So if you ever wanted to know the behind the scenes hot goss, uh, we talk about this one time where Gertz flushed a toilet to prevent a fight. Or rather, to end a fight. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, there was a time I got um, 
inebriated in Seattle and uh, slumped into my chair eating a hot dog. Uh, that is not a euphemism. <laughs> and, uh, and and all sorts of stuff more. And for five dollars, you can also get me playing Hell Divers for the first time. Uh, another Fast and Furious Adult Spider Man Masculinity and More compas with Ian. Uh, some behind the scenes stuff and uh, the Sexcellence. New Sexcellence coming very soon because uh, we're gonna record one with Christina when she comes to town, and it's gonna be a good time. Uh, well, I think we'll do that probably like Friday or something. Who knows? Who knows? So be sure to follow us on Patreon and subscribe and be a patron of our Patreon. Follow us. We're everywhere and Instagram. And also, we still haven't grown one fan on our TikTok. TikTok's dead um, because nobody loves us anymore. So help us go viral. Like, share, subscribe to all the things there. Mike, thank you for coming. No probs. JJ. I'm sorry. You gotta get on the Hydra's back. You should be. I will. I, I am. And Marcos, uh, thank you for coming. Appreciate your time and your effort. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go sleep now. I'm gonna go pee. Three, two, one.